<laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Towers and Gods. Let me get that music going. We're happy to have you here, as always. I am joined by my wonderful cast. We have Isaiah as Jong. Hello. We have Milios as Brack. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to Friday Night Tag. Discord, please don't lag. The last cliffhanger was so, so sad. But Brax happy because Bulwark is mad. <laughs> I'm here. Thank you. I mean, you can introduce Let's everyone else from that, Joe, but like that, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> and that concludes the stream tonight, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh my god. Uh, we have, wow, we have Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, what's up? <laughs> we have Hannah as Eden. I can't follow that up other than hello, everyone. And we have other Joe as Damien Frog. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yes. Good uh, job. And relevant. Um, so yeah, welcome once again. Mm -hmm. We're here with episode 41, Towers and Gods, second episode of the new arc. Uh, if you're wondering who we are, what we do, we do Tower of God, but D&D style, it's a prequel story. Um, feel free to stick around if you want to learn more about how we do the sessions and the like, and uh, we have a playlist here on the channel if you want to go back and watch some of our older episodes. Um, I want to give a special shout out to our guest, Ruka Samuels, who was here for basically all of the last arc and last episode. It was so much fun having her on. Her link is still down below if you want to go show her some support for her awesome work that she did as Ace in the series um but uh yeah any thoughts from the cast i'll miss you ruka i miss her Absolutely. miss you ace savage <laughs> maximum savage it's not the same i was telling them we were joining the call and i was like okay we have six people need one more it's i don't know it's weird it was because like it was like a quarter maybe of the series or maybe not even that but it felt like more um but yes it was so like the kleptomania uh the kleptomania aunt of the group yep. yeah. mm -hmm. i guess her role will have to be passed on because no one else in this group has ever stolen anything no 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 that depends are you still recording these conversations joe <laughs> yeah <laughs> In it's fact, I am, I am getting mad thinking about your your weird, strange accusation. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. That was before stream. Okay, so <laughs> last time on Towers and Gods, we arrived at Prime City preparing for the upcoming workshop battle a day before you are set to leave for the preliminaries. And uh, overall, you reunited with Team Stexa. Uh, which was a jolly good time. Uh, you got to see old characters and sort of, you know, relive those old times. It's been almost a decade since you had seen them in universe. Um, so yeah, that was cool. You're all at Prime City. Um, but the main thing that happened at the end of the episode was that Ace was planning on reuniting with Silyung. Oh. Lyria and Silyung, but unfortunately, our boy Silyung unconscious on the floor, and Ace was forced to retreat with a mysterious unknown individual. And uh, it's about 6 a.m., 6.05 in the morning currently. And that's uh, where we're going to pick up with where we left off. So I think we should begin. Okay. It is, yeah, so it's still early, early morning currently. I'm going to start with you, Eden. What are you currently up to now? Um, I think where you last said we left off is like Leaf was talking to Eden and Eden was kind of just like entertaining her and right. uh, knowing that something bad was going to happen, but she's kind of helpless to stop it. Okay. So, um, do you really think everything is going to go fine? Ah, uh, I, you know, Ace is a resourceful young lady. She'll be, she'll be fine. And Leaf kind of looks down. Yeah, yeah, I I'm sure. <sighs> she yawns. Oh, I, I guess I'll sleep for an hour or two before we have to get ready. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Eden. Good night. And she just walks to her room, leaving you sort of by yourself in the main area. Mm. 
She is going to... Oh. Would she be allowed to call... Well, hmm. She's going to go over to Wu and Zhang's door. Wu and Zhang's knock. door? Okay. You all hear a knock on the door. Uh, Zhang gets up because he's already up and goes to enter the door. Or or he goes to, like, look through the door to see who it is. Not just open the doors for people randomly. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hey. I'm... Oh, Eden. Is and Wu he... awake? John uh, turns behind him to look at Wu. Is Wu awake? Uh, Wu is not in the bed. Um, but as you say that, you see the cork on the gourd pop open and Wu appears from inside of it. Are you clothed? Yeah. That's right. That was my Choice. next question. Uh, um, yeah, I'm awake. What's hey, up? can you do me a favor? Mm hmm. I need you to pull your observer out. Uh, okay. Is everything send, okay? Send it to these coordinates and see what you see. Just uh, do it. Right, I'll roll. I'll roll. I'm not going to question it. All right. Not bad. Plus. Mm -hmm. 19 for the observer check sure sure you send out your observer i'm gonna say through the through the window you know easily and it flies through prime city towards the location towards the coordinates on the way it doesn't pick up anything um too noteworthy you do notice that a few jihad guards are patrolling in various areas and it's reaching the time of day where you know the sun's rising people are starting to set up shops and everything still pretty quiet you reach the abandoned building and you see a few jihad guards standing outside of it and a few regulars as well and the guards are talking to the regulars and upon closer inspection you recognize shion is one of them the others it's it's a bit hard to tell because of the uh some of them are wearing new outfits blah 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 but the, you for sure recognize shion oh uh, what's going on at this location eden That's where Leaf set up where uh, Ace and Sillyong were going to meet in secret. I had a bad feeling about it, but... She did what? Wait, Sillyong's here? Yeah. And they weren't supposed to meet, but... Where's Ace? We might have stopped that. That's where she went, and if the Jihad's army is there, then... Shit. Yeah. I don't know how much we should interfere... I mean, if, if we're gonna go, we gotta go now. I saw Xion as well. Sillyong might be there. He might know what happened. We should send a small group of people. We don't want a lot of noise. As I say, we're just... Oh, we're, we're putting more targets on us if we interfere, though. That's why Eden, it didn't go. There's already targets on us. We can sneak past them if just a, f a few of us go. The guards seem distracted. All right, then how about just the three of us? All right, we got to move now. Let's go. All right, let's go. Above the table, does Brack hear any of this? What perception for me? Is that... Yeah, well, oh. so would Brack have just been in his bed sleeping during this time? No, Brack would have had his eyes open just lying in bed looking up Playing at the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're in a separate room, I thought. Oh, are we? Well, that's the yeah. Land. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I think we're all rooms, right? We didn't go yeah. into detail, but there it would be a separate room. That's why. I'm okay. Asking. Then he doesn't hear. Okay. 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 Sure. So I'm assuming Victor would be with you, um, kind of like back in the day. Um, da actually, Damien, yeah. you'd probably be there too, right? In the back room. He might be getting his food. David's out getting an early morning special. <laughs> Those dang DoorDash drivers, they made us late. <laughs> I'm gonna say that the three the other three of them were in a room and then the two of you were in a room. Uh, okay. So yeah, okay. The three of you then end up leaving the building. 
and heading toward the location. So you're walking through town. You said you wanted to sneak there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Like um, I would say, no, just walk more... inconspicuously. Yeah, yeah. Not like we're I, heading I would right there. Say once we get to the warehouse, to like sure. conceal our presence, you know. What I mean? Okay. It doesn't take you long to get to the warehouse. Maybe ten minute walk, and uh, especially at your pace, you start to approach it and yeah woo, you see almost the same scene um there's less jihad guards there now than there were and now there's only a couple of people outside the building um of the regulars that you had seen and it's too far for you to tell who they are whoa can you use your observer to find out what they're saying all right uh let's see 16. sure you send your observer closer and Hmm, okay. The observer starts to approach, and uh, you hear a conversation. There's a woman and a man, and the woman starts speaking. He's okay, isn't he? Well, of course he's okay. They're in there right now. Shion is checking on him. Oh, God, why did she have to leave us? And they're just kind of arguing back and forth about wanting to head inside, wanting to check in on him, but being stationed there uh, just in case anything more bad happens. And there are, there is one Jihad guard away from them who uh, is just kind of standing there watching the road. Hmm. Interesting, what do you guys want to do? Looks like she owns inside the warehouse. I think we just go then. Uh, standing here is always maybe, oh. maybe one of us goes and either talks to the guard or distracts them while the other two head in the warehouse. Or we just all roll stealth and see if we can get in the warehouse or not. Riskier, but... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Woo, could you send one of your monkeys to distract the guard? Mm. Do I recognize anybody, any of the voices in that conversation? You do. Especially, I'm going to say you started thinking more and more. And the woman's voice especially you recognize. I'm gonna oh, go ahead no. and send you. Oh man! I have to say, I think I know who it is. <laughs> if it's who I think it is, I'm for shit not going over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you gotta go. You gotta she go. Never, she's never seen those. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I can use the monkeys to distract them. No, are you um, planning on distracting the two regulars or the jihad guard or, or all three? Uh, so. You know, what's the layout looking like? Like, what will it's... we need for, for them to sneak past? I, I guess a better question would be, like, how close is the Jihad guard from the warehouse? And, like, is he watching the warehouse specifically or just patrolling? Yeah. Like, he, what, he, just watching? He's, like, up against the warehouse, more so watching the road than the regulars or the entrance. Mm. Um, he doesn't appear to be, like, you know, that actively searching around. Um, it appeared like so. Woo, looking at it from compared to before, it's much more calmed down now than it was when you first okay. saw. And it's not that far away. They're not like that far away from each other either, nope. right? They're like maybe ten feet apart. All right, I'll do this, and when I do, you guys sneak in. Sounds good. All right. Uh, do I gotta roll to summon one of them? I yeah, roll really handling for me. Yep. Let's uh. Yep. Hmm. But let Iwazaru come out this Okay, Iwazaru yeah. pops out, holding his hands over his mouth, looking around. He looks over at you. You see the the those two regulars over there by the guard. Go over there and dance around. Make a scene. <laughs> he already starts getting excited and he kinda hops over there and the guard immediately notices. It takes the two regulars a second longer. And he just starts doing a dance and twirling around and doing a jig and like jumping back and forth. And all three of them are just looking at this monkey. Uh, go, 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 go. All right. All right. I need you all to roll stealth. All right. Thought you might say that. 16. Okay. Where's my stealth? Ooh, also 16. No, oh, why? Uh oh, he's rolling for the jihad guard. <laughs> <laughs> now 20, 25, 35. 
they smell your perfume, you're fucked. <laughs> Jong and Eden are sneaking in like cartoon villains, just like their hands up, just like do 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 do. You guys are just go with, just go without being. Uh, just go without. No, no, no. You you were sneaking oh. with them. What's your stealth? But I don't even know what my stealth is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's that bad. <laughs> oh no. So it would be a seven. A seven. <laughs> 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 okay, so what ends up happening is the three of you start crossing the road closer to the building. And I'm going to say that, Wu, you're at the back. But then the Jihad guard kind of looks over for a second. And, of course, Iwazaru is doing his absolute best to keep his attention. But he looks over and says, Hey, you! Yeah, you! With the black and gold shirt! And then... Jong and Eden, you managed to get to the side of the warehouse out of you. I just kind of like wave them and tell them to go inside without me. Sure. Okay, and Jong, we've was, headed was, in. was kind of just like frozen, I'm sure. <laughs> I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, just, I'm just looking at him, I have my hands where I'm out there. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And then the guard approaches you. Is there any business you have here? Oh, business? Actually, you, you would have happened to see a tiny monkey. Kind of stupid. <laughs> Not misplaced him. And immediately, uh, the man of the two regulars says, Oh, uh, I have. He's right over there. And he points right at Iwazaru. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You weren't bothering the nice people, were you, Iwazaru? Iwazaru just... Wander, you know, hops on over to you and uh, hides his grin under his hands. Okay. Um, no, I, 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 I whisper, I whisper in his ear though. Uh, like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna treat you meanly, but I'll give you cookies later. <laughs> you recognize the man's voice as well. Send you a message. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> well, if you found your monkey, now get out of here, says the guard. Uh, yeah, sure. So they don't notice me? Alright, I'll be on my way. Good. You notice that uh, the woman, her eyes narrow and she starts whispering to the man behind, uh, to her side. Uh, I start walking briskly away. <laughs> Alright, alright. All right, so Jong and Eden, I'm going to say that during the Wu conversation, that gave you an extra layer of uh, security as you snuck your way into the building. And, and like the building too, like, you know, it would have had a, you know, like a broken window. You were able to sneak in once you got okay. to the side of the building. You make it there and you hear talking coming from further into the building. You see some voices are being raised. Um, something is definitely happening in here. Can I roll perception it, to see if there's jihad guards talking with them, or if it's just regulars we know? Roll, uh, roll perception. Okay. Um, also, while she's doing that, is there are there multiple ways, like entry points, to get into this room, or is it just like one? One entry doorway. Point. One. Um... I got a nine. Excellent. You are <laughs> unable to determine the voices. Why were you so there's happy too about many that? <laughs> I wait, love this. He's like, wait, she wait, rolled wait. below a ten. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, Joe, Joe, Joe. Let me roll perception yeah. too. Okay. So I can try and identify. Help these, me, Tom. These fellows. Uh, we got. Oh no. <laughs> all right, Eden, we're going. All the blind. blood is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the all the blood is rushing to Jong's ears. He's like, she owns near. That's, uh... <laughs> That is with, wait, perception? Yeah, that's um, a, with a plus four, that's a seven. I got three. <laughs> with both Jung and Eden rolling yeah. low, it's... And Wu, yeah. And Wu, that's crazy. You know, we're getting them out of the way. We're getting them nice. out of the way. Shit, um, I knew you were too happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the voices, there's too many voices kind of all talking at once for you to tell. Okay. Well, Can we, like, pop up from where we're at just to see, like... Like unnoticed and get an eye on what's going on. Is that battle music? I was gonna say, what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna say that you can try. You know, you just gotta peek around the corner. Is that what you're? Yeah, just to, to see do? if I can get a visual on who's sure. there. You start to approach the room. <laughs> you 
right. right? You start to Should approach. I... Yeah. Do I need to roll stealth again, or? Um, no. I'll say you just okay. roll. Uh, okay. 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 You approach the, uh, you know, kind of peeking around the corner, and uh, you hear Shion now talking. Oh. Oh. What do you mean you don't know? She's and you can an tell she's John. pissed. Is that a... She's got an earring! Sorry, you go like... <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't have kept talking there. That's my. That's entirely my bad, you know. I'm sorry, what are you saying, Joe? Okay, I'll give you a What do you mean? And the guard, there is one guard, that, two guards, and she's speaking to one of them. I believe that there was someone who entered this... Pre, uh, this... Pre the premises. Huh. Weird word. words. There was someone who entered the premises. We believe you may know. We don't know shit, she says. What we do know is that our teammate is injured. And you look over and you see Sil Young, who's awake now, but is kind of leaned up. And uh, you see a couple other teammates helping him out, kind of whispering to him, talking to him. Mm, you're hiding something. We're not hiding anything. You've spoken to him already. Do you want to speak to him again? As a matter of fact, yes. And the guard kind of motions her out of the way and approaches Sil Young and crouches down. And John kind of leans up next to Eden and just says, what is it? What do you see? There's a guard talking with Shion and they think they know something more. I think they're asking about Ace. I said I don't know anything. Really. I... And he hesitates. I, I wish I did. And the guard is just looking down at him. We're gonna need your contact info. And then Shion says, nope. He didn't break any laws. Why do you need his contact info? And the guard just turns around and looks at her. Let me guess, you're here for the workshop battle, correct? That's right, it's just Shion. And the guard looks at his other guard friend and then says, We'll speak again soon. Search the rest of the building. And they both leave the room, heading right towards you, Eden and Jong. <laughs> Great. You should. Can and, we hide? Uh, I mean, you have two seconds to hide if you really want to try. <laughs> All right, yeah. we're hiding. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what else we can do. I was like, well, okay. shit. We can't just not hide. <laughs> Reroll stealth for me as you try to scramble to find a hiding place. Oh boy. <laughs> Just punch a hole in the wall. <laughs> 14. Uh, stealth? Ooh. Hold on, hold on. That's an 18. 14, 18. Okay. You kind of all eat in motions and you go, and there's a couple of odd boxes and just broken things in here. And you hi find a hiding place and you hear the guard's footsteps stop. And then. They walk into the room, and there's silence. And then one of the guards says, search the building, search the room. And he walks out while his guard friend starts walking around the room. So Eden, I'm gonna say right now, you're hiding behind a broken box. Not the best okay. hiding place. Um, Jong, you found this old grandfather clock along the side of the wall that you're kind of leaned up against, and you feel like it's a pretty good spot. And the guard slowly starts approaching you, Eden. And he starts to get a little bit closer. Press A to hold your breath. Press A to hold your breath. <laughs> I'm spamming it. Oh! <laughs> I'm waiting for the quick time event. <laughs> but then, right as he's approaching you, Sil Young says, Wait, I remember something. And the guard stops and then runs back into the room. You don't hear what he says. But a minute later, the guard starts like hurrying out of the room to join his other friend. And there is silence, aside from you hear conversation coming from the room from Sil Young and his team. But the guards are gone? Yep. <sighs> I'm so glad he can sense Shinsu auras. That was close. Mm, that was too close. What are they doing here? What are they asking Siliong about? It's about Ace, I know it is. She got too close. Think they got her? 
Jihad, I mean? No, they wouldn't be asking questions if they didn't get her. Somebody else did. I think I might know who. But you're not going to like the answer. What is it? Probably ice here. They got their eyes and ears everywhere. Actually, they have more than their eyes and ears here. They're here. A lot of them. Was that a pun? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> it kind of works, but okay. <clears throat> what do you mean they're here? Well, I mean, Sushi so said they would be here, but like... Look. Did you come into contact with them? Just kind of like ago. narrows her eyes at John, like... Mm. Damien and I had a conversation with the one that we met on the sixth floor a while back. Bull. Mm. So that's what Damien didn't want to tell me. Yeah, I think he was going there to get information on them or to. Yeah, he seems to do that them. a lot. Goes off with I see her by himself. Yeah, well, weird. he's too trusting like that. I tried to warn him, but he seems pretty hell bent on working with them in some capacity. I don't know why. They're just stringing them along like they're stringing all of us along. That's what I try to tell them. But if they're the ones that have Ace, that complicates this. Yeah. They'll end up using her as collateral. She probably doesn't know it. What do they want? And as you're uh, speaking, you get interrupted because there's footsteps coming from the room as you see slash hear the team. You can't see very well because you're still hiding currently, but the team is starting to leave that room to head back outside. We should tell him. We need to get in contact with him. Wait, tell who what? We need to tell Siliong that Ace was there. Because it doesn't seem like he knew. I don't know. I don't think if we tell him Ace is missing, but don't have any other leads, that's going to be very helpful. Maybe there's a way we can confirm Ice here has her. At least give him a lead. Well, you seem to have your contacts. Maybe you should ask them. Actually, Damien's the one with the contact. I just kind of tailed him. Oh, this is getting so complicated. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot more complicated before it gets less. <laughs> yeah. So what do you choose to do? By the way, where's Wu? Is he still outside? I guess... No. Oh. I didn't even realize he didn't come in here with us. Uh, let's hope he didn't get caught by the guard and that was the commotion outside. Uh. Well, if he's distracting the guard, he actually has a pretty good tendency of speaking his way out of situations like that, so I'm sure he's fine. True. Or he's challenging another ranker, because that's also in his MO. <laughs> well, either way, we should probably head back. I say we regroup with the rest of the team and... I don't know, see if we can get some info out of Ice here. Maybe, probably won't work, but I don't have any other options. Why like, don't you guys uh, just talk to Cilio? Jeez, where, why, where, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What's the problem? Boo, it's just listening the whole time. <laughs> I can't hear you guys, my bad. I was eavesdropping outside. Did you at least distract the guards and make them leave? No, they didn't leave, but uh, I tried my best to distract them. Well, They're gone now, though. <clears throat> I think we should probably at least contact Shion's team and let them know that we're here. And if they want to meet us, give them their, our apartment number. They can come of their own accord if they want, and if they don't want to, then that's that's on them. Yeah, or, or we could just talk to Celia and Shion right now while they're still, while they're walking they out. That'll look oddly suspicious to the guards who knows the number of people that went in there when they come up. Oh, with they're gone now. Yep. 
The guards are all gone. The only regulars outside now. Okay. Zhang, what do you think? No, I think Eden's right. We go back to our apartment, we call them, contact them, and let them know to meet us. I don't want them to know we were here. Well, okay, that's fine. Um, but I'm just saying you guys made a lot of assumptions about what happened, and maybe Sil Young does know something and he hasn't said anything yet. All Plus, if we invite get them in all a private back, place than in the street right, telling us. That, that's fine, but like, why don't we invite them to a different place? I'm just concerned uh, that if we bring them all back to the apartment, it might invite unwanted attention. And on top of that, I don't want Leaf to know about this just yet. So you're saying meet them in a more isolated location? Yeah. Yeah, like this one really worked for Siliong. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter where we meet. We can go inside my gourd. Hmm. We have to we sign up for the test today, and time passes really weird in there. I don't know if meeting yeah. inside of there is a good idea. No, we'll have more time in there than we would out here. Actually, Wu might be on to something. The only ranker that I know that knows about this gourd is Glue, and he shouldn't be anywhere around here. Yeah, they're far more powerful rankers than Glue, but whatever you think is best. No, I just mean he, he knows how it works. That's all. Nobody else really knows. All right, I'm on board. I say we do it. We contact them, we'll meet in the gourd, we'll swap up information. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, so while this is happening, I'm gonna cut to the apartment where Damien and Barak are. Like I said before, you are staying in the same room as Victor. Um, Barak, you said you were just lying awake um, at this time. Uh, Damien, uh, were you sleeping at like 6, 6.15 a.m.? Yeah, let's say I was. Just taking a nice sleep? Okay, okay. Um, Victor's also sleeping. He's not snoring, you know, but he's, he's sleeping. Victor, because, you know, as we've previously established, Victor doesn't snore. Um, and uh, what, what would you He snores. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm flying away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. But um, Brack is looking up at the ceiling, thinking about uh, the events that happened over the course of the year. And uh, also thinking about his conversation with Bulwark and thinking if he should just tell him the truth regardless He's because he deserves me. to know. Aww. Good morning, Brack. You hungry? Am I hungry? Right. I Dumb question. Want me to make you something? I've been hearing things about this soup that you made. Oh, that you don't want that. That soup is. Oh no! Of course I don't want that. I just heard that you were a terrific cook. I, I, you know, I surprise myself sometimes. It was a shock to me too, but you know, if, I, if you want me to recreate it, I'll do my best. Grace Felger starts preparing all the ingredients: the salt, the pepper, the carrots. <laughs> Uh, I just I just hold up a knife and it's like just say the word Brack. I'll get to work. I don't think I want seasoned water, but if you got meat, I'm ready to eat. That's what soup is, seasoned water. <laughs> if you really think about it. I I, I I I know, but you know, that's that's for leaky people. I am beefy. Which means oh. I need beef. That is fair. Well, the only meat I see around here is a certain frog, but I don't think I want to cook him today. No, 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 no. Little frog, don't worry about it. I'll never let them cook you. That was a joke. I was, I wasn't gonna actually do it. Pulls out his knife. I seen you on his legs, frog. I seen you on his legs, frog. Battle stand. <laughs> <laughs> defensive position. Brack looks over at Victor, but we never seen what a coon tastes like. We could cook him. Whoa! Whoa! 
No, pause, pause, pause. Please, no. No, no. play, play, resume, resume. <laughs> this is, no! <laughs> this is quite the development. I've had many different ingredients, but people... <laughs> never had that before. Wake up, boy, I'm alive and bottle with screams. Well, we want to make sure we skin what? him first. The Get the good parts of the meat. This is not where I thought this was going. Bro, since when were y'all cannibals? Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> no, 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 experimenting cannibals. It's different. Maybe we, maybe after we eat no, it, like, no, we're like, you know, it's not. No, I like it's, vacation not really. cannibals, you know what I mean? It's on yeah. the <laughs> It's like, you know, maybe eating people is not my thing, you know? But I'm glad I tried it, you know? We can't eat him anyway. Not enough meat on his bones. You know, I I think there's quite a bit of meat. I've got to like, but maybe too lean. You know, yeah. We're can't getting back that. around yeah. this time, right, Joe? <laughs> no, no. This is like I'm just, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> okay. I will say well, though that while you are talking about this cannibalism and stuff, there's a knock on the door. <laughs> Um, not like your bedroom door, but on like the outside, your apartment door. I jump back into my bed and I yell, Victor, door! <laughs> Victor! <laughs> Sorry, what? What's going on? Door! Victor, door! It's like six, ten after six. What do you mean door? There's a door knock. I heard it. I think you have a lady caller and she's at the door waiting for you to answer. My lucky day. Uh, he yawns again. Uh, he steps out of bed, wanders. He opens the door, but then when he opens the door, you all see Leaf run up to the door instead. Yeah? Rock runs up to the door, pulls Victor back. Not that lady caller. How you doing there, little Leaf? She just, she doesn't even listen to you. Who, who's there? Because she just has this determined look on her face. It's me, Stexa. Uh, is it, can you please open up? And Leaf immediately opens the door. Stexa walks in with a regular you've never met uh, right behind her, and she's looking around. Uh, shoot. Ace left, didn't she? What? what? And Leaf stammers, what, what, what are you? And she motions over to her teammate. Vixen says she saw something. And she motions over, and uh, Unregular walks forward. It's a young girl with, like, orange ish hair uh noticeably has two little fox ears on her head and uh, a very simple brown and green outfit and uh has freckles on her cheeks and she nods and says i was doing my patrol and that location i told stexa about a lot of jihad guards there not looking good right. leaf just has a horrified look on her face why would she go there though It doesn't seem right. Are you sure it was Ace? Because I told her to. Oh. Let's go. We need to go now. Brack with a serious expression. He asks Leaf, where did you tell her to go? I knew how much she wanted to meet with Sil Young, and I, I thought before the workshop battle, it'd be the best time. There was this place that Stexa told me about, and we need to go check on her now. It's okay, Little Leaf. I can get there faster than the rest of you. Where yeah. did you tell her to go? Brack, I don't know if that's a good idea. There's a lot of guards there. I don't care about those guards. Where did you tell her to go? And she motions to Vixen, who gives you the exact coordinates to the abandoned building about 10 minutes away. Okay. Can Brack aim out the window? Absolutely. I want to roll to throw my spear in that direction and to one with the poon over there. You got it. You on my side. See? <laughs> Love you. 19. 19. All right. So the window is open. The wind is coming in. And Leaf says, but I want to come too. Can you take me with you? I could, but... And then Brack just launches the spear. The launches the harpoon. Launches it. Okay. You 
just feel, you know, I mean, all your training, it just soars through the air, flying and flying and flying, and you can, you feel that connection you have, you feel it finally land, or it's about to land, you see it coming out of sight, and I'll say that's when you do the teleport, and you land on top of a tall building, I'm gonna say. Well, Leaf, I don't have anything so fancy, but I can jump us over there. Please. Can I reach out my hand? All right. Thank you. Uh, All just, aboard. Be careful, guys. This is Dexa. We'll be back where, in the jiffy. Uh, huh? Yeah, uh, just wondering where Eden was. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, go wake them up or, you know. I don't think and, there's anyone in there, but okay. In fact, I have a feeling I know where they are. You just, uh, you take care, okay? All right. Stay safe, Victor. You too. You start uh, leapfrogging out the window with Leaf on your sh on your back. Brack, you, after just a, the teleport happens, and I'm gonna say after the teleport, you were just you know like a curt a one turn or two two streets away, and by the time you get there, you just see a group of regulars outside the building. Go ahead and roll perception for me. Seven. Seven. With your oh, seven, you do recognize Shion, but that's about it. Everyone else, new outfits, too far away, it's too hard to tell. But uh, you're like on top of a building, it's maybe like 100 feet away from you, maybe a little bit more than that. Brack looks at Shion. He gets happy for a second, but then he immediately refocus on why he came there. And he's looking around to see if he sees Ace. He then stops and turns, looks at Shion. Shion. Well, uh, so I'm going to say you got a little closer. Um, oh. Since, yeah. Like while you're looking around, you get a little closer. Okay. So he, he just walks up to her. Shion. Is little young here. Shion turns and then like does a double take. Brack? Is that you? Yeah, 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 it's me, but we don't have time for that. Is Little Young here? Yeah, he's he's right here. And So Young is leaning on another member of the team that you don't recognize, and his breath is kind of quick, and he's like clutching his heart. And I'm gonna say that this is the time when the three of you in the building were like gonna leave. And I'm gonna say you overhear Brack talking. He <laughs> just like get, like peeks right around the corner. Well, the plan's off. Son of a bitch, Brack. Mm. How did they know to come here? Well, let's just come on. Let's face the music. All right. We should get somewhere more private as soon as possible. So you step out from the uh, the entryway. Yep. You step out, and so young. When you show, you know, after he had, he was clutching himself, but his chest. But then he has a smile on his face, and he says, "Rack." And then his eyes open up. <laughs> I should have known it was you. And he turns to where the building is. Eden, Jong, Wu. They're here. It's good to be hey. with you again. Hey, Sil Young. You son of a bitch. So, you just didn't want to tell us that what y'all were doing, huh? Time was of the essence, Brack. I didn't Brack, feel like waking the whole committee. Than that. We need to get somewhere private. Let's go. If Let's I'm being go. honest, Brack, you wouldn't have woken up anyway. I was already awake. And then he, he, <laughs> he turns back to Lord Young. <laughs> And he, he just says, it's good to see you, buddy. I'm glad I could meet you again, he says. Unfortunately, and then she says, yeah, unfortunately. Ace is missing. Yeah, I know. And she just like punches her fist against her hand. 
We should get somewhere more private so we can talk about this. Yeah, like now. You're right. Whoa. And as you're saying that, Damien, you start hopping over in the distance, you know, leapfrogging from building to building. And I'm going to say you see the group as well. And I descend from the heavens. Jeez, Louise. With a singular wing. Okay, wait. Hold no, on. no, <laughs> no. You no, nope, you don't get a hold wing. Out a little bit. <laughs> Easy there, Good several. to see you guys. <laughs> Do you... Do any of you know not how to be conspicuous? Okay, we need to move, like, now. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. Can we just yeah. go and get in the gourd and you just walk us back and then it's, like, not a part uh, of, like, a gajillion people? We can do that now and Brat can teleport us back. Brat, can we do that? Well, you see the way this harpoon works is, uh... I can, but I don't want to. Oh Wonderful. God. Just, yeah, this is great. Okay. All right, all right, all right. But don't blame me if you wind up inside a building. Huh? Just carry the gourd when we all get inside it. <laughs> <laughs> and head back to the apartment safely. Don't get your pocket picked. Yeah, I don't... Siliong, tell the rest of your teammates to get inside the gourd. I don't have time to answer questions about how this works. Of course. Everyone... Let's head inside. And uh, you hear a few people question his uh, remark, but trust me, we'll be okay. And uh, after a second, you're able to, they're, they're all able to go inside. How does that process work? Like, do they just like walk up to the board? Uh, it's like, yeah, you could just, <laughs> it's weird picturing a line of people walking into it, but there's like a, there's like a- Hold the line. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, a Shinsu effect that happens and you see like a vacuum of air kind of pull them okay. in so they kind of like swirl in there. Okay, everyone ends up swirling inside. Including uh, Leaf and all of you. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then uh Yeah, as I go I go in last and I tell Brack to just carry us with him back. Okay. Brack Brack picks up the gourd after the last person goes in. He pulls out a jacket from his inventory, like a little hoodie, puts it on, puts the hood over, puts the gourd inside like the front pocket, and walks away. I love it. Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wu, would you mind describing the inside of the gourd for me? Uh, yeah, so the area I took you guys to is the first starter area that I normally store. Like, that's where Signe's chair is and all, like, the random stuff that I gather and whatnot. Is just the picture, heart still in there? I was just about to ask. Yeah, the heart, is, the heart is, like, off in the, in the floor in the distance. But is just picture from you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can see it. Of course. Oh, no. You can see it. But, yeah, uh, just picture, like, a big actual storage-looking room uh, with okay. a lot of shelves. Um, all white, though. And, like, yeah, lots of uh, cabinetry and stuff like that. Is it like that scene in the Matrix when? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right, that's a good visual then. Okay, okay. You all are so, inside. Welcome to the gourd, and I just like you see like a little futon on the ground. I'd ignore that. I've been uh, spending some nights in here, uh, but you yeah, make yourselves comfortable. It's filthy in here. Well, Jong, this is the storage room one. That's where I keep all my stuff. You know, you want to go to other places in the gourd? We can go. We can go on an adventure. I thought you know, a little organization would go a long way. That's what I'm saying. Can we not bicker? Oh, we have a task at hand, gee, John. gentlemen. You're cut off and Leaf says, "Still young," and she runs up to him, but then stops and uh, she slowly gives him a hug, but then kind of quickly backs off. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's none of our faults. Thank you for taking us to a secure location, Wu. And he smiles. It really no is good to hear your voices again. I'm just glad you're okay, at least. Oh. Did you... Well, not see, but hear what happened to Ace? By any chance? Well, let's start from the beginning. Siliong, what were you told when you got to this floor?
Our plan was to meet up with you at some point. However, I wanted to meet with Lyria before the workshop battle began, because there was no guarantee that our teams would be able to interact for who knows how long. Eventually, Leaf and Lyria told me they had found a secure location where we could talk, if only for a few minutes. I arrived, but then, a couple of minutes afterward, I lost consciousness, and the next thing I remember is Shion's face waking me up. And she was just shaking her head. He was just sprawled on the ground. Were there any signs of damage in his body? No damage, right? Right, so young. Only a bit of chest pain, but I think it's subsided by now. But I know that Ace, as you call her, Lyria saw me. She was there, and he holds up his wrist, and his jacket sleeve conceals it, but then he pulls it back, and you see his traditional, you know, his red bracelet that you all have always seen him with, and there's a second one tied to it. She was here. But I don't know what happened to her afterward. Leaf is not crying, but she has this look of just, it's grief mixed with frustration on her face as her fists are bunching up. Oh wait, the guards were questioning you guys, so that means they don't have her? We don't believe so. They were talking to him as if he would have seen her, but we tried to tell them he was unconscious. He wouldn't have seen anything or know anything. She either was taken by somebody else or just left. Or, so alternatively, was she the... No. She would never do such a thing. No. I, Lyria would never do that. Siliang, do you know the conditions she was under? Lyria? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. Although... I do remember. Perhaps it was just a dream, but... She was saying, I'm sorry. Do you know the reason why you couldn't meet regularly? Yes. Okay. So if Jihad's asking about him, out about her, then they didn't get her. Somebody else did. And I don't know what kind of vested interest a third party would have in her. But we were very careful to keep the Jihad army out of it. Actually, but I think, I think I might know who has her. You know, it's and you say that right as Leaf says, you do? It's just a hunch and I don't have a lot of evidence right now to back it up but if it's true this whole situation just got really really messy yeah don't tell me says Leaf don't tell Zhang me just, got involved Zhang just looks at Leaf and kind of nods I think so she just looks off to the side that frustrated expression expression. I'm sorry, Cillion. They wouldn't even have gone after her if it wasn't for us. No. I'm sure she was safer with all of you. If she was traveling by herself, who knows what kind of trouble she would have gotten into. She's more responsible well, than you give her credit for, Cillion. Much more responsible well, than me. 
the other thing is at least for now we know that she's alive at the very least if they took her that means they want something from her and if it's who Jong is suspecting I don't think they'd kill her there were no signs of a struggle either so which means she went willingly yep I trust Lyria with my entire being if she went with them, there had to have been a perfectly acceptable reason. And I know I'll meet with her again. So it's okay, Lee. No, it's not okay. It's not! None of this is okay! She's just looking around. Not a matter of it being okay or not, Leaf, but it's nobody's fault either. Ace made a decision, knowing full well what the consequences could be. Dillion made a choice to be there. If we had just ended, and been more patient. Wait, wait if it, would'ves and could'ves aren't going to get you anywhere. It happened. What it matters is will alone that made it happen. What matters is what we do next. Do we have any leads? Actually, and Zhang looks at Damien. We have contact information, don't we? Oh. Do we? You got a new best friend, Damien. I mean, I have a friend. I have lots of friends. Like you. You're my friend. Damien, I see your guys, boy. Damien. The I see your guys. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I could ask them about it. I'm sure they would give me information on it. I'll also Actually, say that now, Brack, you made it back to the apartment. If you would like to also enter the door. Brock tries to figure out how to how everyone else got into the gourd. He just dives in here first. <laughs> and Brack just hits his head on the gourd and nothing, <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> he hits his head, he just <laughs> whips <laughs> and, like like <laughs> yeah. and then uh, and then I'm like, uh, my bad, one sec, and I pop out. My bad, I forgot to tell you, you can't uh c come on, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm I see his wolves <laughs> sticking up the gourd, and he's like, what the? <laughs> "It's all, it's all right, man. I, I, I probably would have tried the same thing. No, no worries, no worries." <laughs> okay, uh, Wu and Brack end up like warping back in. What does it look like? Like, okay, just for, to be, just because I'm curious, to the people on the inside, what does it look like when you arrive? Uh, you just poof in out of thin air. Just kind of okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, Wu and Brack uh, arrive in the gourd. Uh, Brack's here. Brack's still rubbing his head. Uh, what did I miss? Did you hit the door frame? No, I didn't hit the door frame. I tried to dive into this goddamn going gourd. Oh, oh. I should have told him right. how it works before. It, it, never mind. That, okay. yeah, we won't speak okay. of it again. All right, let's just concentrate. Damien, we need you to contact them. Actually, yeah, so have... I think you should do one better. Set up a meeting with all five of us. I think it's about time we all got on the same page with Ice here. Six of us, says Leaf. Do you? Leaf, I look at I John. Know... With everybody there, do you really think we'll get any information? If we're all just yelling over each other? Nobody well, said anything about you. Damien, I get it, but. We didn't necessarily get a whole bounty full of information with just the two of us. It's very clear that Icier just intends to kind of pull our leg for as long as possible. We I need got to set the information record that I wanted. Jong, are you so team focused now? He's always been team focused. What happened to what you told me on the 27th floor? Leaf, I get it. You're upset because you're blaming yourself for what happened to Ace, but now isn't the time to get no. emotional about it. No. Calm Someone, someone down. is at fault for this, and we need to figure out who it is so we can And it's not her. you! Now I said calm down. There is a time and a place, and now isn't it. Oh, oh my master. Relax, 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 both of you. Just calm down, this isn't getting us anywhere. Damien, Jong is right. Leaf, I know you wanna go. But I see it's far more compliant when it's just us. But we, I need to see who. If you want to come, need to ask them questions and. 
I need to see them. I've never... I want to meet them face to face. No, you don't. What? I... Leaf, the less you're involved with them, the safer you'll be. And I mean this very seriously. I think Do you want to be their come. next target? Do you want to be their next collateral? Do you want to be held over Wu's head, over my head, Zhang's head? I, Stay I, away yeah. from Iseer. I think Damien's right. We can right. figure this out together. I'm sick of Bro. you making my decisions for me. Bro, right. if, if, anyway, everybody, if everybody wants to go, which I don't think is the greatest idea, I don't see why Leaf shouldn't go either. Oh, one second, one second. She, she was directing that at everybody in general. Mm. Um, she said it to her. Sure, she did. So when it comes to leaving the gourd, uh, Wu, do you? Did, can anyone just leave? No, I gotta let them out. Yeah, I figured. Okay. So. Wu. The prison. <laughs> it's a prison. <laughs> yeah. She she shoots Wu a deadly look. Like, let me out of here. Uh. Oh, okay. And I let Eden out. Eden, I didn't mean you. I meant the team. I'm sick of all of you deciding what's best for me. She's gone. Oh, okay, so as she's talking, uh, you, you poop out? Yeah. <laughs> and Leaf stamps her foot in the ground. Uh, Brock okay. finally done rubbing his head. He says, well, she kind of met three members of the witch's cult already. I mean, she met Queen Witch herself, and she met Bull, and, and what was the name of the crazy one? Smile. Smile. Yeah. The one that might have a thing for Damien. What? Yeah. Wait, no. She she wouldn't. No way. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, little buddy. You attract crazy. Well, uh speaking of crazy, I should tell you uh about the information I learned about Flux Folk. I Can need I to hear this. Okay. So I explain before you start explaining, Shion says, um, I feel like you should probably meet the team, <laughs> just in case. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, completely forgot this. I'm so sorry. Very no, it's rude. fine, but if we're going to be talking, you should probably know who you're talking to. And I'm going to say, just because, you know, you've been talking for a while, you would have probably eventually recognized these these people, or most of you would have, depending on who you are. But uh, she ends up turning around uh, to this group of people. Okay. Well, first, I guess I'll just start with uh, you. And she motions over, and this is the dude who was helping Seo Young, and he uh, gives a hand wave. Hey, everyone, my name is Jason. He's wearing like a, you know. Oh, I love the gi. He's wearing a gi. Nice one, though, head ass. Oh, with the sandals, too. Him. You recognize him from a photo that Shion had sent you earlier. Nice to meet all of you. My name's Jason. All right, nice to meet you, too, Jason. Oh, I'm I can Jamie. see the memes. <laughs> Uh, she what uh? All about all of you. It's good to meet what you. position are you, Jason? Fisherman. Just like oh. she says. Brack sizes him up. Uh, I kind of, I kind of narrow my eyes and look over at John. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? And I, and I just glance over at Jason and then back at John. Especially you. He walks over to you, John. Nice to meet you. John just kind of looks at him like he looks at his face, then looks down at his hand, and then looks at his face again. Yeah, nice to meet you. And he puts his hand out. He gives you a firm handshake. I lean over to Brack and I'm like, this man's trying to move in on his girl. I can feel it. I look at Jason and I say, so, where do you train, hmm? Eagle Fang? Cobra Kai? <laughs> I don't know what those schools are, but if I ever run into them, I certainly will give it a try. Uh, right now, I just basically train the Xion. We're both martial artists, so... You oh. heard that? He's training one-on-one -on -one with Xion. Well, I'm going to punch you in the face. You can't, I'm talking to Brack. I'm not talking to you. you can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Brack just says, I could take him. I could take him. I've been training. And he just assumes his stance. He goes, oops. <laughs> 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 
Uh, of course, you all know Siliong already, but we have the other uh, linguists to introduce. And she turns around. Uh, I know that it's been a while since you've seen some of these people, but times have changed. And then someone just strides past Shion and looks at all of you, just kind of glancing around. And it did take you a while to recognize this person because she looks quite different than what you recognize. But you it can't be her. Astrid. Yeah, we'll get me out. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Code red. Code red. Go purple. Let me out. No. no. The, the, the gourd is about facing your fears, John. The gourd is about facing your fears. Nah, nah. Fuck that episode. Get me out of here. <laughs> Meanwhile, the heart's on the shelf in the background with the mount, with the throne. He's dramatic. This is a trap. <laughs> Hello. It's, it's nice trap. to meet you. I'm Damien Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I go and I grab the heart. I'm like, so I guess you'd be wanting this back. And I put it in her head. <laughs> she just like looks at it with like a look of disgust and then gives you a look of disgust and then just lets it drop to the floor with a squelch. Wasn't that your precious Jong's heart? You, you don't care for it? Oh, okay. I don't know what you all think of me. I haven't really thought about you much at all, actually. She she glares at all of you, gives you a lingering look, Jong. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm just here to climb the tower. Understood? Got that? We know you. Uh, <gasps> this is Astrid. Astrid. Oh! Is Whoa! Is there a problem? Nope, none whatsoever. <clears throat> you look good. Brack just looks at her and then looks at Shion and asks, Was this again? Um, this I don't. Is Astrid Linquist, the daughter, only daughter of Lord Signet Linquist. Wait. Wait, Shion, so if Ash is here, does that mean that. Hey! My stepson, are you here? No one uh, says anything or walks forward. Could have sworn he'd be here too. Uh, so, if you're referring to... Uh, and then Astrid puts her hand on Shion's shoulder. I do want to say one thing. Now that I've met you all again. I don't hold a grudge for what you did. On the contrary, you've given me an opportunity. I'm Astrid Linquist, the heir to the Linquist family and future Lord Linquist. Don't I'm you have two older brothers? brothers? I'm going to use this opportunity to restore our family name if it's the last thing I do. What happened to Lem Lem? That's what I was saying, you know, my stepson. And you got another older brother too. And last I heard, Siliong was in charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Twinkle, Twinkle, Sparkle, Sparkle guy wasn't really a part of the family anymore. Fair enough. So I well, guess, what, the hero I, of kindness uh, denounced his name and uh, title? I'll, I'll go ahead and introduce everybody else. Um, so I believe you all had met uh, Sif, and she motions over, and you see the head maid... Uh, we don't have art currently of the <laughs> Linquist family. She's no. not wearing her maid outfit currently, so a little oh, harder God. to recognize. But she has PTSD her hair in a long the episode, braid, bro. <laughs> the black hair. And Honestly, I thought she, I recognized she's you. She's wearing a very casual outfit. Without the maid outfit, I couldn't be sure. You're the only one I really recognize. She says to you, Wu. We still have a fight to settle, don't we? Uh, I, I thought I made it clear I have no intention of fighting you. Well, my name is Sif. Nice to meet you. You too. And then Shion motions over to another man who is, uh, you know, bra his hair is mostly gray at this point. Mostly bald head. Very big dude with big muscles, but he's wearing a casual outfit. You recognize him as Nial from uh, House Linquist, the cousin of House Linquist. He's not wearing his armor, but he does a long bow to the point where like his head touches the ground. 
It is a pleasure to meet all of you, he says, and he looks over at you, Brack, and gives a nervous smile. <laughs> Why are you so upset? Why are you so scared? I... I hope there's no hard feelings, and he tries to shake your hand. Truly. What, what is your name? Nial. Nial Lindquist. And then Brack just pawned us, touching the scruff of his beard. Oh, you're the one that had your head up Roar's ass. Nice to meet you. <coughs> Brack, says Shion, we're not here to make enemies, okay? Brack makes no enemies. What are you talking about? You, If you would have been there, you would have seen it too. Like, it was right up there to the neck. Like, it's, it's, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's to the neck. <laughs> and uh, Nyal just takes a step back. And there's one more member of their team that is standing there. Give me just a moment. Hooded, cloaked, he walks forward. With a sword at his side. Dramatic. And uh, Play. this is this is our last teammate. Um, and with that, you've met the team. So. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! We were doing formal introductions, and there's a whole dude in front of me, and we're not gonna mm. talk about him. My sword, you got there, buddy. What's your name? I don't need a name. You wouldn't happen to just be nameless then. <sighs> yeah, he doesn't go by a name anymore, technically. You said a name anymore? Oh, wait a second. Where's that list? You go ahead and pop it up. <laughs> Can Brack wave Walker over and try to pull off his hood? Go for it. Is that all these dramatics? <laughs> you, you don't even need to roll, Brack. You can just do it. You can just do it. As long as you're taking track of how much points it's using and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So He's Brack just, way yeah. walkers over. He 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 swooshes through, and then as he gets there, he just smiles and he pulls off the off the hood. He says, How you doing there? Remember me? The hood falls. Yeah. Well, I knew it. And he just stares at all of you. No, he's clones. What's wrong, Leaf? Lifeless. Well, Leaf, you look good. I want my rematch. He just turns yeah. around, pulls up his hood again, and then walks to a corner of the room. Understandable. And I just, like, look at Asher and she all, like, what? Well, What's going on? And they're all cool with this arrangement, Chion? You act as if you had no idea why this would have happened to him. Like I what said, happened I don't to him? He, grudge. He's a mute now? Oh, hold a grudge for what? What did we do? No, oh, for maybe ruining our family, for starters. For making Bo run away! He... He what? He ran away? I told that little bastard to get strong. He <laughs> ran away. <laughs> Always knew that right, kid was no good. We're going to ignore that. All, all I'm saying no, is. No, we're not your, ignoring it. You should hear it. Your family. No, you no. I'm talking, I'm talking about Brack's comment. You're full, you, you say whatever you say. Here's what I'm telling you. Your family tried to toy with us for sport. You caused your own destruction with your greed and twisted ambitions. And now you want to be mad at us because what? Because we came out on top? That's why I said I don't hold a grudge. Our family's the one that held that test. And honestly, like I said, it gives me the best opportunity I ever could have asked for. This bitch. But that's beside the point. Every night while we were climbing, Bo would mutter. Nothing 
but comments on how he would kill you all. I don't hold a grudge. Neither does Leaf. But you know who does? And you know who we haven't heard from in years? Our little brother, Bo. Who we're probably never going to see again. He's so I probably hope... dead. You're right. He probably oh. is. And that blood That's... is not on our hands. Whose fault is it? What kind of big sister lets his young little brother run off in a fit of rage seeking vengeance? Not my right. problem. Brock is just behind Wu co signing like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to de-escalate oh, this situation. I don't know. I seem to recall a certain one of us having many a conversation with our dear little brother. And she glares at Brack. I helped little Bobo build character. He was being pampered and coddled by his mother. I was teaching him how to stand strong and on his own. I mean, he even meet me, Shion. What do you? Oh, you did this. it! You did it! All right, Brack. Let's relax. Let's all just all take a breath and calm down. And she points at you. Don't blame me if you wake up with your throat slit. If Bo is capable of slitting my throat, you know, by all means, I deserve to die. Oh, you don't know anything about Bo or any of us. Well, please. Actually, I don't really want to find out. Silyong, marvelous team you've assembled. We normally get along quite well, but it seems... Don't believe that for a second. ...old arguments have been brought forth. Everyone, this is not the time for arguing this or that. I'm sure Bo is all right. I'm sure he'll come back and try to kill Team Recall, which is unfortunate. When the time comes, is perhaps we can talk to him. And perhaps you can apologize, he motions to you, Brack. And admit your mistake. Brack did nothing wrong. Brack <laughs> assisted the young man into finding his own way. Should that be a way through evil and sheer brute force? So be it. But he found himself, and now he's getting stronger for it. Look, if we see him, I'll promise you that I won't let Brack kill him. Good enough? Please don't. We don't need any more bloodshed in the Linquist family. Alright, well, now that we've all caught up, we should probably get out of here. Yeah. Damien, see if you can arrange that meeting with Aesir. Of course. And I warp everybody out of the board. All right. Everyone ends up crowded and together in the apartment. Eden, where are you currently at at this point? She is long gone. Long I gone. Type, I was just typing a message to you. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Uh, no, you're good. No, she, okay. As soon as she got out of the gourd, she left the apartment. <clears throat> got. So I'm gonna let's cut back a little bit then. As okay. you leave the gourd, Victor would approach you. <sighs> what went wrong? What doesn't go wrong? True. She's gone, right? Yeah, she's gone. Hmm. See you later. Where, where are you going? I just need to cool my head. Want some company? If you want, I'm not stopping you. I'm not making decisions for the team. You know, funny you say that, and he puts his jacket over his, uh, over his, through his arms, and his arms through his jacket, and he walks out the door with you. I was just thinking how much I missed that. Well, not you too. No, I'm not saying you have to do anything, but, uh, I think it's pretty obvious our team is having some issues. <laughs> it's kind of a miracle we've made it this far. You're not wrong. Nobody wants to seem to get on the same page. Everyone wants to be secretive and, you know, but I'm still the leader. Just don't take into account that I don't want to be. I'm going to say at this point you've walked out into the city. <sighs> I understand. Um, hey, how about I go buy you some breakfast? I'm afraid we're going to get ambushed by that stupid reporter. 
Well, we'll find a secret place then. Come on, follow me. Oh, you and me on a secret rendezvous? Just want to talk. As All friends. right. Yeah, let's go. And uh, he does some twists and turns, and you're kind of surprised at how much he knows of the layout, but he takes you to this, like, little side, small little restaurant with, like, nobody there, and he... There's only tables outside, and you sit down and order some, uh, some breakfast food. Victor, have you been here before? Hmm? Oh, yeah, well, a long time ago. Doesn't matter. How? Victor, you, you can't just lead me on a wild goose chase through a city we've never been in. Say that you've been here, and you're just like, ah, oh, no big deal, no big deal. It doesn't really matter. I've lived Yes, a it does! Time. Not as, not, probably not as long as you, but I've lived a decent amount of time, and I've been to a few places. Little trips here and there. Honestly, Prime mm. City isn't all it's cracked up to be. All the money it makes comes from the workshop, and even though the technology is crazy, it's kind of slow, if you ask me. Slowly advancing. Mm -mm. Although I did hear they invented a new train that'll be taking us to the island later on today, so... It's exciting. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean that you need to be our leader. That's not what I meant at all. I think one of the most important qualities in a leader is confidence, strength. And not that you don't have any of that, but anyone who doesn't want to be a leader, well, that's a conflict of interest. Yeah. You're not wrong. But it doesn't, and you have to admit, that doesn't mean that our team is struggling with this whole democracy thing. It's gone on long enough. To the point where we just make wacky decisions kind of on a whim. Go meet with this group. Go meet with these people. Go out in the middle of the night. Don't tell anybody. It's getting kind of old. And eventually one of us is going to end up dead because of it. I don't disagree. He leans forward. So, if you had your choice between having a leader and democracy, what would you choose? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Let me guess, you left the gourd because someone said something that was counterintuitive to the leader idea, based on what you were mumbling. Probably Leaf, based on what happened with Ace. You shouldn't take it personally. She's a kid. She's growing up. Oh, not that I, you know much more about that than I do. But... Oh, you know, a coon traveling around the tower all the time. I'm surprised you don't have more offspring. Okay, that's a little blow. Come on. I... I'm careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> oh, Victor, you're so easy to push buttons. I'm trying to deflect from the conversation because I don't want to have it, but... Push as many buttons as you need to. Don't threaten me with a good time. Um... But seriously, like, either the team needs to get on the same page or we're just not going to make it and... Honestly, I... <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. I genuinely regret not taking you up on your offer to run away on the 21st floor. I'm not a good fit for this team. Let's bring danger and problems and baggage and... <sighs> it's, it's, it's dangerous for you guys. We should have run off. Should have left. They would be better off without us. The reason I said that wasn't because of any danger you posed to any of us. It was because... I wanted some more time with you. <laughs> That's sweet. And also, I know how hard it is for you. I know how little you sleep. Yeah. I know the nightmares that you have. I know how much you 
dwell on your past, and who can blame you after what's happened to you? So I don't think you should be our leader. At least, not anytime soon. Not until you're ready to take on that role and all of its responsibilities. But, it doesn't change the fact that I do think we need a leader. Preferably before the workshop battle begins. I know it's late. I know it's starting soon. Doesn't it start in like two hours, Victor? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you know, it's only. Like, Are we supposed to be at the station at nine? It's only like eight a.m. right now. We got time. It's right. We got till right. noon. We, till noon. we have till noon. Okay. But he leans forward. Genuinely, if you had to pick somebody, you were forced to pick somebody right now to be the leader for the workshop battle, who do you choose? You have to pick somebody. Gun to your head. Can I pick the gun? Ouch. <laughs> you know, why do you want me to, why do you want me to say you, my well, dear? Well, I, I can't be the worst option of the bunch, but no, <laughs> I want you to be genuine. I want you are. You're not here. I want to hear your <laughs> real answer. Your real My... answer. Hmm. And I know Harris Velger doesn't count. Damn it. Um, what about one of the monkeys? Honestly, one of the monkeys might not be the worst idea at this you know, point. That's, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. even speak. <laughs> that, that's that's the point. We could teach them <laughs> sign language. It'd be, it'd be great, you know? They do know sign language. Okay, Actually, okay, there we go. no, no. <laughs> Only me's are no sign language. Yeah, okay. But make this a mute session next time. <laughs> you have to pick somebody. You have to do it. I'm not saying we have to go with this option, but... Why do you do this to me in the morning? <laughs> Eden, this isn't serious. I'm... Yes, it is. For I mean, the moment, who do you think would be best? If... <sighs> I mean, what qualities don't I have to be a leader? Oh, right? my Victor. And I don't want to be the if leader. If this you was this just. On the second floor. If... I don't like being the leader. But... If this was just a ploy for me to pump your tires, like. I promise you, hand to God's. It's nothing. Like. <sighs> Right. Even though you're just, you keep nominating yourself. Well, I mean, I'm a little bit offended that I'm not even on the list of options. <sighs> Maybe this is because I haven't slept in a very long time. I don't see leadership qualities in any of us right now. Okay. So I don't see my... a lot of responsibility. I see a lot of self-interest. I see a lot of secret keeping. That's a little hypocritical for me to say, but still, a leader has to be able to take responsibility, not only for their own actions, but for the entire team. And I genuinely don't see anyone on this team being able to do that. I think Brack probably comes the closest. But then he has that syndicate streak, and then he, he makes me and lose he, a lot of no, confidence. No bad the syndicate because a member. Shut very up! Just because you did a dance and ate Twinkies doesn't mean you're fully initiated. They still treat you like shit. You don't even go to their meetings, and I know about them. I attend the meetings that they want me to attend. It's it's a team effort. Which is like it's, one in twenty. Okay, that's, that's an it's one in twenty. It's no, like it's a, not. It's like a quarter of the meeting. Brack is really bad about keeping the meeting secret, and somehow it still goes over your dear little blue hair. Here's my question. We, we don't have that many meetings. He's a member because he received twenty k of the profits, so he it was a clean split. He's a, I'm member. a profitable member. But if I'm being serious, you do you believe not having a leader 
is better than having only a mediocre, not a great leader. Well, that's the problem. Everybody seemed to consider me the best and brightest of all the leaders, but no, one's, no one listened to me. We always fought anyway. It was always discussed in a committee. And then whenever I would exert any sort of like, let's do this, then it's like, oh, you're making decisions for us. Oh, you're doing this. And it's I, like, you can't win. That's the okay. problem. I, I see what you're saying. I really do. But if you think about it, in that situation, we know who's at fault. Someone disobeyed the leader. Someone disobeyed the team. But when one of us goes off sneaking in during the night, one of us is holding secrets, telling lies. Who's to blame them? Who's to hold them accountable? How often? Nate, I can't even remember the last time we've held a vote to decide something. Not to mention the time it wastes. Not to mention the fact that there's biases in a vote, depending on what we're voting on. They're not thinking straight. There's, there's, it was funny at first. But I think it's about time we actually elect a real leader. And I'm not saying this, I'm just offering the options. Brack or me seem to be the most logical choices. You've already outlined Brack, but would you mind outlining me? She gives him a very coy look. You sure? I can take it. He smiles. Sure, you can. Remember the yeah, small small brain, large heart comment comes into play here. Okay, um... I love you, but... I'm probably the only one in this group. Well, let me retract that. I might have been the only person in this group that knows the vaguest of surface level details about you. We don't know much about you, Victor. And while I respect that, I don't know how a leader can earn the trust of their group if they themselves aren't open. And that's why our relationship didn't work. I don't think being closed off is necessarily counterintuitive to being a leader, but I see your point. But why share something if you have nothing to hide? Truly. Then what's the problem with sharing it? Details that don't matter. <laughs> See? Now you're doing this cop-out thing again. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know, I don't, you know, we just, you don't need to know this. I, I, it's I, rah, 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 rah. So it's, your it's... point is, if I were to open up, you, I would suddenly skyrocket to the top of the leader list. Easiest option of the entire team. We climbed all the way to 134 with me as the leader. <laughs> you're still, you're still, mm -hmm. mm, you're still just, you're still just nominating your, um, look. I'm not saying you wouldn't be a bad leader. I think you have potential to be a very good leader. But if we can't even make a personal relationship work... How are you going to manage relationships with eight people, seven people, however many we got on the team, and have them connect with you and respect you and make that work? Well, in my opinion, a personal relationship like we had is very different from the relationship that, say, we have now. Well, yeah, we're teammates. Exactly. And you would say you trust me. Right? I always trusted you, Victor. You know that. I appreciate that. So what's to say I can't... <laughs> you know what? 
Are you just going to keep nominating yourself? No, in fact, I was just going to say the opposite. <laughs> what if we oh, decided no. as a team, once and for all, just for the workshop battle, mm -hmm. just for now, mm -hmm. every other team, I've, been, I've spoken to a couple, I, I've heard a couple, they have a leader. Have you been running out at night? Yes. You've only been here one night. Man, it's for the streets, bro. Mm. Disqualified. Dishonor. <laughs> Dishonor. Shame. Shame, bro. Shame. That's evidence in court. That's evidence in court, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we, we, see what I mean? Even I'm breaking the rules of our team by sneaking off. That's my entire point. Eden just has an eyebrow cocked at him, just like, mmm. <laughs> I've spoken with a few teams, and everybody mm. has a leader but us. If it gets down to it, the line is drawn, the clock is ticking, we need to make a choice. We can't just gather in a circle and start swaying back and forth and give each other thumbs ups and say, oh, we'll just come together. We need to make someone to be a decision maker. Someone to say when we screw up, and someone to encourage us when we do something right. So who would you pick? I'd pick whoever the team picks, and we can disqualify anyone Victor! who doesn't volunteer Victor! themselves. Victor! She, like, grabs him by the lapels of his jacket over the table. Victor, did you just hear yourself? I know the small brain, large heart thing is, is coming into play here, but, like... That's you just said... No no, you, no, 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 no! You just were like, oh... We're gonna do democracy you to pick the thingy the point, thing. Eden. How am I missing? How am I missing is, the point? Democracy's fine and all in certain circumstances, but right now, before a huge tournament where who knows if our lives will be on the line, it's different. We need someone to make the sh to call the shots. Okay. So we can call okay. one shot now as a team and be set for the tournament. So, in the democratic vote to pick a leader who you're gonna listen to implicitly for this tournament arc. Who would you cast your vote for? Himself. We would establish Frack, you're not here. We would establish, we would establish a rule where we can't vote for ourselves. Then who would you vote for? He holds up a finger to his lips. That's a secret. I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh, look, our food is here. Excellent. Perfect timing. Man is for the streets, who is right? Uh-uh! Look at it! Oh, Alright, let me stop. I'm telling you, it's super disrespectful, Eden. If yeah. I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let this fly. Man, these pancakes sure look delicious. Right. Well, hold on, hold on. I don't, I'm... If you tell me, I'll tell you. There. I'm good. All right. You want some, uh, we have some syrup here. You want a little extra? I'm not hungry anymore. You enjoy. I'm going to take a walk. Good talk, Eden. Don't get into any trouble. <laughs> oh, you know me. That's what I'm afraid of. You receive a response. Okay. A voice message response saying, I'm available anytime. All right. She will send him a place. I'll type it to yeah. you if I can remember the place that's on my sheet. Sounds like a plan. So, meanwhile, in the apartment, you all have exited the gourd. You're back in the room. It's all kind of crowded. And uh, people are just taking chairs and couches and stuff. Excuse me. So in our private chat, Joe, you were somehow able to send a message two minutes in the future. I don't know how you did. Okay. <laughs> it's it's, it's 541 right now. You sent your message at 543. I don't know how to it's comprehend that. 
it's a either time you're zone thing. I say it's a time zone or like there's server lag on the back end and you're yeah. you're wow you just want to expose your time yeah, travel powers like yeah, that? That's crazy, bro. Traveling, bro. That's I knew crazy. it you I just always knew everybody on stream like that that's nuts bro Don't I I knew it nothing shit you so, know so, like <laughs> I always knew my conspiracy theories that I've been writing for the internet have been correct for the internet so, so, so um. It's, it says it's in at 853 or 843, so it's definitely like a, a time zone thing. But anyway. Yeah, it's all good. Anyways, that message, by the way, more important for the rest of the group. We got a me we got a meeting time. 1155, station three, out. That is our meeting spot. What time, what is time do we have to leave for the for the test? Twelve. Oh, so right before. What time is it now? Yeah. It right now it's gonna be like eight thirty. Okay, we got some time. Uh, no, oh, well. Shion, would you like to get some food? Would you like to join us for that? Oh, I don't know. Can you promise to get along with the team? Uh, I can't promise it, but I'll do my best not to fight anyone. <laughs> she puts a hand on your arm. We'll make it work. It's good to see All you. All right. It's good to see you, too. We've missed you, you know? <laughs> Just your influence here. Well, I've missed the team. I heard you came up with a name now. Yeah, it's right. I, 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 I didn't understand that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? A name? <laughs> what? That's Just right. You forgot your own name. <laughs> <laughs> I this is just a brain lag, okay? I'm two minutes behind everyone, okay? You're all time travelers. <laughs> That's right, Team Recall. Recall, huh? Well, that's pretty cool. Well, you know, it would have been more for Syndicate, but you know, it is what any, it is. Uh, any intention of rejoining us? We'll see, she says, and she gives a smirk. We gotta win the workshop battle first. Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> That is going to be us. Woo, you uh laugh. Your sense of humor has, has improved, Shion. It really has. Look, I know you met up with Team Stacks already, but if you think <laughs> she just smiles. Let's just say they've gotten stronger since floor twenty. And I'm sure you know. Oh that. Too. Yeah, I I know. I can see you've all gotten a great deal stronger. And if I end up fighting you, let's just say I'm not holding back. Better hope them dice rolls hold up. I mean, um, yeah, me too. I would expect nothing less. She, uh, you know, she just smiles and laughs with all of you, but then she turns to you, Jong. Really is good to see you, Jong. It's been a while. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good to see you too. She just kind of looks you up and down. Have you been? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Things are, um, uh, good. You don't look great. What? What do you mean? Like, do I look different? Eh, never mind. Look, uh, now that I'm back, I know we're on enemy teams and all, but. You ever want to train or have someone to talk to? I mean, just let me know. Just like old times, right? When she kind of nudges your arm. <laughs> yeah, just like old times. You know, I was looking around. There's a great spot for breakfast right around the corner. Maybe you two should go and catch up. Oh, well, we're all going to catch up, obviously. No, no, no actually, no, no, no. Lisa, 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 Lisa and I have something to do. So, uh, we do. We'll catch up with you guys. You two go ahead first. So yeah. You're deciding for me again. Okay. I'm sure me and Brack can babysit the linguists, right? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. You owe us, Jong. <laughs> uh, Jason walks up and says, yeah, let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry. That's, that's right, Jason. Jason, actually, we were thinking that you could spend some time with us, you know? We, we just meet you for the first time. We gotta get to know you a little better, you know? I'd be happy to. Our teams are gonna get along quite well. 
Yeah, you know what to do, Jason. You strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Oh, no. Sweep the leg, Jason. <laughs> Be sure to sweep the leg. <laughs> Well, come on, let's go. Uh, how many of us are there? There's, uh, well, let's see. Uh, we have six from your team. Well, I guess five, not including the leaf. <laughs> and then we have seven from our team. So that's 12 seats. I'll go ahead and place an order. Or order a reservation or whatever the words are. Words are hard. Let's see. Jason, are you punch drunk? <laughs> yeah, that, see, I don't think you listened to the word we just said, Jason. <laughs> All right, 12 seats. I'll go ahead and give him a call now. Brock just leans over to Damien. I don't think his training went too well. <laughs> I told you, Brack, he's trying to move in. Just, just, you two go. Mm -hmm. Just go. Just go. I agree. Jason he must be training oops, under I, a different I slapped master. the pocket out of Jason's hand. Hey, uh... Oh, uh, my up. bad. Jittery fingers, you know, that spending too much time warp, warping it out of the gourd, it, it takes a toll on you. Brax, Brax just yells over to him. Jason, they pocket invisible mode. <laughs> Appreciate that, big guy. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. Say pocket <laughs> invisible mode. I, I will... When I think it's necessary, I appreciate your help. <laughs> All right, just go, just go, both of you go. I really don't think it's a good idea. Uh, the team needs me to make sure everything goes smoothly. Silion's a capable leader; he'll it's, be fine. It's okay, Shion. I can handle things. Uh, she just looks back at you, John. Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's go. Okay. Sure. Uh, you lead the way. Then John makes an exit. Heading out. Okay. And uh, Jason's still with all of you. Uh, okay. So is there a place that can hold twelve of us, or what's the plan? Uh, sorry, Jason. Like I said, got stuff to do. See ya. And I grab leave. Uh, yeah, you guys have fun. So Jason, would you agree with this statement? Kicks get chicks. Uh, I'm more of a punch guy myself. Mm, ah, I see. More kick punches all in a munch. Got you. Got you. Hey, you get. You know where they went? He motions to the door. Toward the door. Huh? Wait, what? Do you, do you know where they went? Are we gonna go join him or what's the plan? Uh, who went? We're who we're went, here. Who and Lee? Shion, Shion and uh, John, right? That's his name. Uh, I've never heard him. those names before a day in my life. Yeah, we should give them time to and, and if I did, we should give them time to catch up, you know? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, let's go then. Can't wait to meet you all. Yeah, absolutely. We could talk more about, you know, martial arts and stuff. You know, what do you think oh, the best defense you're is? Martial arts yourself. You're a martial artist yourself? Oh, no. I just, you know, I, I, I know she owns, so, you know. Oh. She always <laughs> told me that the best defense is more offense. Oh, I don't know what this wrong. <laughs> Y'all are doing that. You're gonna regret bringing Jason into this mess. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> oh, Jason, what style did you train in? Okay, I'm gonna say that you all leave the building and you start heading towards. The Jason building. doesn't know the team's a group of psychos. Jason does not exist in this dojo. <laughs> There's no mercy in this dojo, Jason. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut to Wu and Leaf. Uh, really quick here. Uh, oh, shit. Damien, did you text uh, Eden about the meeting? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see. I, I did. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, Leaf. Let's hear it. So, where are you currently? Just like off in the city? Uh, and... Yeah, just walking along the city. I scoped it out yesterday and I found like a nice little quiet spot. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't have anything to say now? Leaf! What do you want me to say? See, this is where I'm confused. 
at what point did you start to feel like I made decisions for you? It wasn't a... You've just always felt this way. You didn't say anything. Sometimes I just want to be treated like I'm my own person. And I'm not saying that you don't. But what's frustrating is that when I finally do make a decision on my own, it ends up backfiring. It ends up only hurting the people I care about. Yep. I'm gonna tell you a story, Leaf. Something that I've only told one other person. I made a lot of questionable decisions in my life. And one time, the one time that I made a decision that I thought would be helpful, that I thought wasn't for me, and could be good for someone else, they backfired too. And the person I consider a little sister got hurt. And she's never been the same since. And the person that I went to protect didn't need my help. As a matter of fact, he hates me for failing his sister. I can't even look her in the eyes anymore. She can't walk. She kind of looks down away from your gaze, but then kind of turns back. So you're saying you know what it feels like? I'm saying that I know what it feels like to be in the pits of despair and blaming yourself for it. I know what it feels like to want the people around you to be happy and feeling like you're the person that's causing them the most pain. Every time she smiles at me, my heart breaks. I haven't seen her since. And she was one of the few people I cared about most in this world. I haven't even admitted this to myself, but in a lot of ways you reminded me of her. And I thought that if I could protect you, I'd find a way to forgive myself. I realize you were dream in her stead. And I'm sorry for putting that on you. But even though that's how it may have started, you're one of the people I care about most in this world. And I'll do anything to see you happy. So blaming yourself here, telling you, you're just gonna waste time if you misdirect your anger or internalize it. I wasted a whole two years feeling sorry for myself when I could have found answers and tried to make things better. I don't want you to waste any time. care of me on the second floor? Yeah. And when I realized what your spirit was like, it almost felt as though everything that led me to that moment to even put me in a position to protect you wasn't for nothing. If we all make decisions and we live with the consequences, as long as the decision was yours, that's what I've been trying to teach you this whole time. If somebody forced you to send Ace there, there'd be somebody to direct your anger at, but nobody forced you, just like nobody forced Ace. She wanted to go. Just like nobody forced Siliong, he wanted to be there to meet her. Things went wrong. Let's start to think about how we make things right. So it is my fault. I just have to accept that and move on. If you can't see it in any other way, 
yeah, you have to find a way that makes sense for you to move on from it. But blaming yourself consistently isn't going to solve anything. Okay. I won't blame myself. I'll blame Aesir. I'll blame them and I'll make them pay. For not just that, but for everything they've done to you, and Eden, and Jong, and everyone. For who knows they've how long. Done. I'm just as concerned about what they're up to. But let's not be reckless about it. Let's not be hasty. We have a lot to do in front of us. And the next time you say that people are making decisions for you, instead of vocalizing that I've told you this time and time again, don't allow it. Make your own decisions. Live with the consequences, good and bad. If you want to come with us to me, Aesir, come with us. But don't let your emotions get the better of you. Trust me, I know what that's like. So if I decide to go, I can go. Yeah. You're a member of this team. I think that it's about time we all start being a lot more upfront with each other when it comes to these things. I just... I don't want to be the little girl or the little sister even or... I don't mean this the wrong way, but I don't, I don't want to be something for you to protect. I want to protect. I want to be just like everybody else. Someone someone who, like Sil Young, isn't forced to do something but can make their own decisions. Learn what regret is like and and let that fuel you. And she looks up at you with like fiery eyes. Oh. You're closer to that goal than you think. All right. I want to go. I want to go. Yeah, and I guess you're coming with us. Thanks. And thank you for... for being what I needed on the second floor. Well, it's funny you say that, because in a lot of ways, you're exactly what I needed, too. So you already did save me, Leaf, more than once. She, she gives you a, a big ol' hug. A tight one wrapping around you. Now, let's get some answers. And I pull out my pocket. Call Zushi. Now? We don't have a lot of time before the test starts, and I actually have to talk, about, talk to him about him, or talk with him about something anyway. You might as well be here for it. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, you pull out your pocket, and we're going to take our break. Enjoy the memes and fan art, everybody. Um, thank you so much for the amazing submissions. And like the video before you see what people came up with this week. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. Bye.
so much pain. So much pain.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome uh, back, everybody, to Towers and Gods. We love the memes as always. We appreciate you uh, submitting. And if you want to submit your own, the link is down below. This was uh, one of the longest reels because of the sheer amount of submissions. So thank you, everybody. Really appreciate the support. Um, with that said, if you want to also support the series, you can leave a like on this video. Hope you're enjoying the episode so far. And we're gonna we're gonna hop back into things here. Hold on, because oh. we got one quick or two quick shout outs. Thank you again, Devlin, for joining the Dr. Bonehead channel and being a member for eight whole I didn't months. See that. That's yeah. super cool. And thank you, Mustafa, for oh the gosh. super chat and supporting the series and Joe's channel. So thank you guys. Thank Fire. you. It did not show up on my end. That's weird. Appreciate the support. Yes. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so Discord super chats, channel memberships, let's go. Oh, we yeah. appreciate all y'all. Yes, thank you all. It really it means a lot. It means a lot. Okay. Let's hop back into things here. So we're going to go sub to... Huh? What's up? No, I was saying there's a subreddit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't it, know. It's been a long time ago. I, don't, I actually don't even know how active it is. But oh, there sure. is a subreddit, yes. The last time I checked, it seemed pretty... Not, not compared to the Discord. Anyway. We'll have to, yeah, people join the subreddit. Let's let's get some memes and stuff in there. Okay, so, Jong, the two of you, you and Shion, you found like a little, not a nice yes! little place. Nicer than, I would say, the one that Victor and Eden went to is more off the beaten track. Wow! Um, it was more off the beaten track, you know, a little bit more out of sight, but this one, you know, I mean, I know how there. to pick yeah, them. See, see, I spoke at a good restaurant, Victor. You man, he's too busy. <laughs> what he was doing last night, bro. That's all I'm you can eat inside here. You know, it's a nice place to be. Um, and yeah, you're just kind of you're just sitting at a table, just the two of you. Uh, yeah. So, um, God, uh, how have you been? Oh, well, you know, it could be better, it could be worse. The team can be a bit of a headache sometimes, but Sil Young's gained a lot of confidence. He takes on quite a bit. He's very patient. I can't understand how he can be that patient. And to be honest, Astrid and Leaf, I'm still calling him Leaf. I don't care how he acts. They, they respect him now. And I think that's the biggest surprise I've had of all. Or they're just using him. I know that, trust me, I personally experienced what they were capable of. They're not good people, but I think they were just being used by their mother. And now that she's gone, some of them have lost their purpose, some of them have found new purpose, and some of them want to kill us. So, you know. Well, sounds like just another ordinary day in the tower, to be honest with you. And when she says that, it's almost like this is the first time Jong's thought about what he's been through in the last couple of floors. Uh, you know, just, um, <laughs> climb the tower. I mean, taking tests and, uh, training, stuff like that. Nothing's happened that would make you have anything on your mind. I'd rather we get it off our chests now, you know? What? Were you... Something you seem on... different. <clears throat> um... What's wrong? She on... Back on the second floor when we met, I was, uh, I was a confused kid, really. I mean, I had a goal and I knew what I wanted to do, but I, I thought it was going to be easier somehow to get it. I thought I thought I knew who I was, and I thought I knew the kinds of things 
that I was willing to do to get it. But, uh, <clears throat> I was wrong. <clears throat> I, uh, let's just say I've started learning who I am and what I am, and, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I don't like the answer very much. What do you mean, what you are? You're a coon, is that what you mean, or? <laughs> Shion, I think this team that you've got, to be honest, I don't really trust them. At least the link was part of it. But you guys have made it this far, so it's got to be working for you somehow. I hope they're a good bunch. I really do. <sighs> they, they aren't, like, like I said, they're not good people, but good people are rare in this tower, right? And I genuinely think they're getting better. But we can talk about them any time. Look, when it comes to you, I don't know your situation that well. Um, but I think everybody goes through a phase where they need to figure out who they are. And I think that's totally normal. You know, I, I've been through my fair share of troubles and times where I felt like giving up, times where I felt like I was worthless or useless, and I still sometimes do, but those moments are gonna happen regardless. And if you think you're the only one having those moments, I think you'd be wrong. What matters is how we handle those moments. And I'm not sure if you're handling it okay. Shion. Have you ever looked in the mirror and not liked what you see looking back at you? Has there ever been a time where you thought there's no way I would cross that line and before you know it you look back and somehow it's so easy to step over that line John she on my problem isn't that I feel useless. My problem is I feel like the only thing I'm good at doing is it's not a good thing to be doing. But I don't know if I can stop. She touches your, your hand with hers. You can. There's always a choice. You have your teammates. Your friends. You... You're not alone, Jock. Far from it. That's not what I mean. I mean... Shion, the only reason that I'm alive is to find the person who killed my mother and murder them. When that time comes, I have to be willing to pull the trigger, regardless who it is, regardless how many people it is, regardless what it is or why it is they did what they did. This thing. All I have left. 
I think that's a good goal. Really. It's pushing you. Driving you. But you can't get absorbed in it. People deserve to die in this place. That's how it is. We've all killed. Well, most of us. Because that's how it is. We have to survive. It's kill or be killed. When someone hurts something precious to you. You gotta make him pay. I understand. Don't turn away from that. But don't let it shape you. I mean, we're all gonna be in dangerous situations. Where, let's be honest, murder's pretty much the only option. Like, on the 20th floor. I'm not gonna lie, it did feel a little satisfying. When Damien and Victor and I finally killed that bitch. She deserved it. I get that. Jong, roll religion for me. You I friggin' bitch. knew it. I was like, he's bringing up Lord Shrek. You ain't gotta do all the work. I don't know if that's been my house before, bro. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Wait. Where's religion? Where's religion? Oh, he got the music prepped and everything. That's a 10. You hear a voice in your head. This one thinks she can travel with my children and speak this way about me. It's very loud and clear in your head. She thinks her weak, pathetic blood is equal to my children. Born your children, Bjorn. your children are a joke, and so are you. Now get out of my head. And suddenly you feel a rush of power rush into your brain. And now you see her activate the blessing, and you're just, her whole body is shining in your vision. And suddenly, you feel yourself trying to stand up, shaking. Jong? Jong, what's wrong? What? You're just like, what? she, you're, you're standing up and you're trying to resist, but you can't. Jong, are you okay? What's happening? Knock it off. Oh, I'm not gonna kill her. I'm just gonna make her feel a bit of the pain I did. And you feel yourself reaching for your sword. Jong, what? What's wrong? Bitch, if you even think about it, I will kill every last thing that you've ever held dear. The blade is drawn. <sighs> John, what's wrong with him? <sighs> Xion, get out of here. No, I'm not leaving you. Damn it, go! No. I need you to make a strength check. To resist. Joe, you son of a bitch. This is very not nice. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm just, I'm you're not sorry. Uh, I know you're not sorry. You should have confessed sooner, Zhong! <laughs> Facts before. Wait, wait, hold on. Over your body. That's a 22, my guy. A 22. A 22. Get that bitch out of here, bro. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's going to go in your favor. I'm just. Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> you swing your blade. But then at the last moment, you're able to stop. But right as you're swinging, Shion slides, grabs your arm, and flips you onto your back. And you land on the ground, and she pins you down. And both you and her are resisting. I don't know what's wrong, but we're going we're gonna to fix this. Just a taste. That's all. You know, boy. You could absorb her power, too. If you really wanted to. Swear to God. I will find out how to rid you from my mind. But not before. 
I rip off every molecule that you are and burn it. I'll forget about this for now, but teach your little friends to show some respect for gods. And you feel the power leave your brain. You just have a huge headache now. Uh, Shion's still pinning, pinning you down, but you feel the struggle leave your body. <sighs> what the fuck? <sighs> Jong, 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 are you with me? Her grip slowly loosens. Jong slowly stands up. He grabs his sword. She's it back onto his back. Like I said, Shion, you've got a good team. No, no, I, I want you to tell me what in the hell that was. Just tell me. Please. Stay away from me. Jong, you're not doing this right now. We're gonna figure this out. And he walks out. Jong! Jong! And then as he walks out, like he turns the corner of the restaurant and just kind of like gives it takes a second and then he kind of grabs the closest wall and he just falls to his knees and he holds his head, just still hurting a little bit from the, the Lord Signory thing. Damn it! Okay. We're gonna cut to everyone else who is having breakfast with this wonderful, beautiful team. You're all at a pretty nice restaurant. Is This is the best one of the three so far. It's all ten of you, I believe there is. Um, and you've all kind of seat, seated yourself at the tables, however you would like to be seated. Um, notably, uh, the, the nameless figure is off on his own table, but everybody else is sitting together. Does he want to sit with us? He's more than welcome to. I mean... Sip says, you're not going to be able to convince him. I would, wouldn't even try. Well, that's okay then. Well... I have to say, I never expected this. Expected what? Just you guys all to follow Shion and Sil Young. We're not following the... Shion. We're following Sil Young for now because he gave us a second chance. What? That is very interesting. And also, Nyal says. Him having the blood of the family, why, that changes everything about the boy. He truly is a worthy linguist. Well, family is important, and I'm glad that you're able to accept him so, so easily. Hold up real quick, little frog, I got this. Um, so, yeah. Nyao, may I call you Nyao? That's the um, name. All means, or uh, sir and y'all, but y'all because we're. Uh, we're uh, you're not sir. getting the sir out of me. Nah, nah, nah. I was but, knighted by. Mm -hmm. uh, where's nah, your armor? You're a squire. You're a squire. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, y'all, if he has more of the blood than you, because he can actually go, you know, super glowy. What does that make you? Um. I do have linguist blood in my veins, albeit distant, but still. I do not need so, to achieve the linguist blessing to serve the family and all that I can. I just want you to acknowledge that you're a mutt and he's a purebred, and therefore he is better than you. I agree. He is better than me at almost everything. But I will be Thank his you. shield even if I have to die, because he's the leader of our team. That will be soon. And he is the nephew of my dear cousin. God rest her soul. Now, now, do you remember the person that you so happily placed your head? 
I don't know what you're talking about with this. I believe he had a a very macho physique. Roy and... was someone that I respected, looked up to, and served if need be. You feared him. Uh, yes, I did fear him. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't try to but use big fancy words just because you feared someone. It's okay. And that, that is how it should be. Your family is weird, but where is he? Astrid looks over. He's not getting out. No matter what Sil Young trying to say, they were keeping him locked up until his execution. Who knows? Maybe it already happened. So Ra Ra is going down. He took the fall for everything? He knew too much. He knew things that I couldn't have even dreamed of knowing. Mm. I wouldn't say he took the fall. I am sorry for your uncle. He may have been a... He may have been our enemy, but... He seemed... Excited. Fun to be around, almost. I truly hope that the gods have mercy on him. He did a lot of horrible things. Which, uh... Close to as many as his sister. But... I, this, I assume the Eon family has control over the sentence? They do. Hmm... His execution was supposed to be sometime around now, actually. Oh, I see. But it's all right. He did some pretty terrible things. But he is my uncle, and... I do feel for him, in a way. But, There's... enough about us. Team Blessing is doing just fine. How about your team, Team Recall? Your name is Team Blessing? Oh, did we not tell you? Yes, we're Team Blessing. Oh, oh bless your the, heart. The Linquist Blessing and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of it. But in some way or another, all of us feel blessed in one way, whether it's physically, and he nods over at Leaf, or in other ways. And he smiles, and Astrid kind of leans back in her chair. Well, Brack, what do you think? How do you think our team is doing? Mm, if I had to pick a word, since, you know, our friend Nall over here is using such a eloquent vocabulary, <laughs> I do say, I would say we're doing sensational. That's a lie. We're we're doing horrible. Everybody is in the mud right now, and I don't understand why. What? It does seem like oh, I went into a I went into a labyrinth. I came out, and and everything was in shambles. I where you met Lyria, correct? Yes. Tell me more. I'd well, like more details. I told her all about you, and at first she was putting up a little oh. I must get out of the cave. And then it quickly switched into that mother It was, it was, it was insane. It's true. Like, the she change. A pool of blood. Lyria, Lyria is such a sweet person. What do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, oh no, she told me something like that. I um. She can get a bit, she can lose her temper at times and be a bit reckless, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little young. She, she's sweet, but she, she did a lot. She saved a rabbit. I mean, a super rabbit, and she got a mute to talk. She was amazing. That's incredible. I'm still not entirely convinced he could talk. He, he could talk. He told me shh. He told me shh. Yes. You know how many people <laughs> wants to tell me to shut up, but they just don't. In this situation, if he was if if he was mute, he would have been unable to. But he actually summoned up the strength to say shh. It's incredible. So after this happens, uh, 
Jason kind of leans over to you, Damien. So, uh, got any funny stories about your climb in the early days? <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I know Shion because uh, she was working on the crown game. She was on my team for that, if you've heard no of way. the crown game. You know, I yeah. didn't take the crown game personally, but I have heard mention of it from her. She told me yeah, about was, all of you. It was great. We were trying to take out this guy here and point at Breck. Oh, and enemies to allies. That's amazing. Yep. It was uh, quite the frustrating experience, but... You lost. Yeah, we ended up losing that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You're telling me Shion lost the crown game. I can't imagine that. Wait, what's your deal with Shion? Hmm? Just... Yeah, what's your deal with Shion? I don't... I don't understand, like, this energy that you're emanating from your body. At first, I thought it was key, you know? I thought it was your fighting spirit, but that's not fighting spirit. That looks like lust. What's, what's that's up? Pure, that's pure libido, bro. Mm. Are you done? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> I'm done if you answer the question. Look, I, you're, you're, you're being weird about it. Shion and I are just... We're, we're good friends, and she's taught me a lot about martial arts, and so I look up to her. How good of friends? Uh, does it matter? Yes. Because if you're competition for my little prickly boy, that will become a problem for me. Competition? Oh, are they... That's not for you to know. Just know. Just know that what? Don't be competition. I, well, I wouldn't step on anyone's toes. Really. I'm just good friends with her. Really. Not in them sandals, you wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was too far. Come on. Look at look look at these things. These are come on. These are funny. These are just, just sandals. Jeez. Go down. <laughs> Slander to the sandals. It's okay, Jason. When negative feelings overwhelm you, look for the good within yourself. Really, I don't know what you all are talking about. You're making it weird. Okay, let's 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 make it a little less weird. How long have you been training? How long? Um, well, we we met up uh, not what was it the twenty second floor? So a few years now. What's your fighting style? It's a mixture of martial arts that I've come across in the tower, but mostly I like to use my hands. Kind of like Shion, actually, but hers is tiger style. I haven't quite gotten the tiger style down. But hers wouldn't that. happen to be cobra style, would it? I haven't learned that yet. I have heard good things. <laughs> That's interesting. I've been teaching myself a new martial art myself. Really? Do you think you could train with me sometime? I wouldn't want to break you, but <laughs> if you'd like, and you sign the waiver, and you pay the syndicate a stipend of ten thousand, whoa, whoa, why not? Whoa. I, the I waiver is you. the most important part, really, because like what when you get hurt, when you do eventually get hurt, like we can't be liable for that. Sorry, what is the syndicate? What is what is that? Ah. It is one oh, of the it's, greatest. It's the organization he's a part of, and it's very shady. Jason says, "Y'all." Well, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a uh, organization in which uh, bank rolls the climb. <laughs> huh? Run by uh, two very shady, you know, you know, shadow leaders of uh, individuals, you know. A almost cabal, you know, of uh, leaders who are very mysterious, but very cool, you know? Like, they're so, man, I want to be just like the leaders of the syndicate kind of deal, you know? Um, not really, no. You're, are you guys, do you guys do work in the shadows? No, we operate in broad daylight. What, what, what is up with this guy? Like, Yeah, come on, that's so, like... 
cliche. He's a, he's we a just, nice guy, really. He, he, he thinks we just do business just in the dark. Just, everybody's out. Everybody's out in like the daytime. That's how you would, make money. She owned to. Never mind. Um, you know what? Honestly, it's been great. Um, I'm gonna go just walk around the city. Right? Huh? Well, you're welcome to stay. Hands up. No, no, I enjoy. I, I enjoy I, hanging out with pleasure, you, though. Pleasure meeting you. I'm gonna take off. Um, y'all take care. Right? I, lo I love. I love your Johnny Lawrence ass uniform, man, though. Sweating, bro. He's like, she's alone with Jong. They're an item. I gotta go. <laughs> he, he just walks off with a wave. And there goes Jason again on another Friday the 13th. Well, I guess with Jason gone, if I can be candid, have you guys heard anything from uh, Ice here? I look over at the Linquist team. Everyone, is, actually everyone there, except for Sil Young, they kind of have this expression on their face. Astrid's eyes widen. You think we have a responsibility to... No, Astrid, it's okay. I understand there's a lot of animosity animosity between us, and understandably, I but... I didn't know anything about the Icier stuff, really. I didn't know any of it. I didn't even know the fact... I didn't even know I had an older brother. So, that shows you how much info was kept from me. Things will be different when I take over his heir. Much different. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. You've changed a lot, Astrid. Back on the 20th floor, I thought there was no hope for you and offered you a kind of escape, but I'm glad it turned out you didn't need it. I didn't need your creepy-ass memory whatever thing. And y'all's like, huh? And Sif kind of raises an eyebrow. I don't need was it. Was it really creepy, Brack? Was, it, was that the vibe I was giving off? I, I, I didn't mean oh. to do that. I didn't. I didn't think that it was creepy. I thought that was pretty cool, but, you know, not everybody wants to have their memories erased. Some people yeah. find it precious. Oh, you know, bro, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad it wasn't creepy. I tried really hard. It sounds, it always sounds creepy. Yeah, um, yeah. While you're talking, Leaf stands up and the wind gusts and it's as if he doesn't even care. The hood falls off his head and he walks over to the table where the two of you are at. Have you heard anything about soul? Anything at all? Ah, we haven't got much information on Soul. I'm afraid. I had a meeting with Icyr myself not long ago. Not much was said about Soul. What did they say? Anything? That he's being You're punished by Icyr. I am. His eyes finally have this like determined look. I'm doing my best to investigate the group Tell and me. make a Take judgment. Take with you the next time you go. Uh, the you next want time we're money. No, no, no. What, what do you want? Actually. <laughs> hold, right, hold, uh, hold up real quick, Damien. Hold up. Hold up. What, hold up, up, little guy. Listen, he, he seems like he's in a lot of pain. Yes. There was one thing that he said when he had came into the room when his mom died and he's seen his brother. He, he and, thinks his brother killed his mother. You don't? I know, I know better than that, no. Okay. Soul didn't kill my mother. He may be a piece of shit, but he wouldn't do that. Why are you looking for him, then? Because I need to end him. For what purpose? Take me with you, and maybe I'll tell you. Mm, you could tell me, and then I can think about taking you with us. If you would, I, I hand a piece of paper. If you want to write down everything you want to under, you want to know, I'd be happy to ans ask these questions to my contact. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. I just want to let you know, though, little Lim Lim, you're not strong enough to take on your brother. I'm willing to help if you just cooperate with me. Winning? Well, I'm not a hero anymore. I never was. The heroes in the stories always win. I'm not expecting victory. <clears throat> I just want to see him face to face. 
and hear him explain everything before explain. I die trying to s trying to slide my sword into his chest. What good would that do? Good. You think I'm trying to do good? No, but no I think you're true of kindness, Brack. No, exactly. but I but I think you're an idiot that's willing to throw away his life for absolutely nothing. Just because you've lost your sense of false justice, does that mean that you should just throw away your life and give it all up because things aren't what you thought they were? This new. Family that, that I respected so much. The people that I had thought I gave everything for. My little brother that I swore to protect. All of it's gone. All, all of it. it. I have <sighs> no except him. Soul. All, but all of it isn't gone, little Lim Lim. Take a look at your sister. Take a look at your uncle. Take a look at your cousin. You lost your little brother, but you can still bring him back. My uncle's being executed any moment now. Your uncle is a lost cause. He murdered innocent animals for sport. He deserves worse than death. Yes, I know. But so do I. And so does Astrid. And yet, he looks over at Sil Young. My cousin spared me. That's because your cousin is better than you. He has a bigger heart than you. He God cares about people. Me to carry out their will. And if so, so be it. Maybe fate does exist. I'll carry out its will. If it means striking him down. But not in the name of House Linquist. Not in the name of Leaf, the hero of kindness. No. Not in the name of that. And then he just walks off. Brack just yells. Lem Lem. You are the second idiot that I've met during these 10 floors we've climbed. That has this dumb sense of justice. That's just throwing your goddamn life away. And he lets him walk. Let him go. He's been nothing but an asshole since the whole thing happened anyway. You're not going to change anything about him. He's your brother. You should try and be there for him. Is he? He denounced our name. He He's... knows everything about our family. He's going through a lot. He's letting his... his pain guide him through life, you know? It shouldn't be a justification for him to act this way. It should be more of a tool to gain wisdom. <laughs> oh, you think Leaf's gonna get some wisdom when he goes off and gets himself killed? Yeah, totally. I... I hope that you won't let that happen. Oh, what, so he's my responsibility now? He's the older I, brother, isn't he? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I mean... In a perfect world, yes, but... I can see in his eyes, he's going through so much pain. If this and he's... Perfect, if I could help... Immediately. If this world was perfect, I would have had a mother who cared. Who didn't lie. And I would have had a... She stops herself. I'll be at Station 3 at noon. Take care, team. She gets up and walks off to the other Brack direction. Brack tries to stop her. Brack tries to stop her. Is there anything that you want to know about Ice here? I want to know why they kept the existence of my brother a secret. I want to know All why right. my mother was working with them. All right. I'll ask it. It might get me in trouble, but I'll ask. Pro bono, of course. Why would you do that for us? We all, we, we almost killed you. We ruined... Why? 
because maybe I'm impressed. I'm impressed by how different you've become. You're clearly a much stronger in individual than you were on the 20th floor. But also, I pity your brother. Shattered glass that was just glued together. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll fall apart at any moment. But let's just hope that you're not on the other side of the field when that happens. Well, let's just say that I'm ready for the rematch. She kind of looks surprised for a minute. She starts walking away, but then turns around and says, If you do ask, let me know as soon as you can. And then she keeps walking. I don't want to give her. I always better. I'm not giving her my pocket number. I'm going to get the the, the, the maid, my, my pocket, and I can relay information that way. Oh, um, I have to get going. Cecilia stands up. Uh, but, and y'all tries to help. No, it's, it's okay. I know where I'm going. It's not far from here. I'll be meeting yeah. with someone, but don't worry about me. And Sif oh, says, after what happened today, you think we're going to let you... No, really, it's it's completely different. It's fine. Really. But it was a pleasure talking with you, Damien. Brack. I know it can be fun to make fun of Jason, but he's a good guy. I'd appreciate it if you went a little easy on him. I wasn't making fun of him, that's... Genuinely interested in the many martial arts he does. He's pretty capable, so. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Good luck out there, Sil Young. Take care, little Young. He uh, he wanders off to go meet with Eden. Where are you at? I'm where I said That's I'm at. Done. I'm at Talia's Burgers, waiting for Perfect. the boy. Thank fucking God. I was going to be so mad. I was like, you guys really letting him go off to who knows where after all of this? <laughs> <laughs> you find him unconscious in like a freaking basement. basement. Um, you see Sil Young walk into the restaurant. And he smiles, even if he's not looking at you. And he wanders over to where you're sitting. Hey. Hello, Eden. It's, it's, I'm sorry we haven't had more time to talk. It's all right. How, How you holding you? up? <laughs> uh, honestly, silly, I'm not good. But I want to know how you're doing. Would you mind if... He holds out his hand for a second. No, silly. No, no, no. You don't need this before what we're going to go through soon. He just nods his head solemnly. I heard that from Leaf that you and Lyria got along quite well. Yeah, we, uh, maybe a little too well. Uh, too well? Ah, uh, she... I, I never really had any close friends like that growing up, so it was kind of it's kind of fun <laughs> to uh, just hang out with another, you know, another another lady. <laughs> it's like having really, a best friend for once. She really is so much fun. Sometimes I worry that being around me sours the mood, but she would always no. brighten it regardless. <laughs> she definitely cared about you a lot. She made that very abundantly clear. And you can tell that with you, he finally he lets out a sigh and you can see a single tear rose, uh, fall down his cheek. Yeah. I apologize for not following through. Um, I said I'd bring her back to you and I tried, but continue to mess up. <laughs> you didn't make a mistake, Eden. That's all I do, silly young, is make mistakes. The time was true. no different. That's very true. You're the most capable person I've ever met. 
No, no, no. Then you need to get out in the world more, my dear. I've met many people. Lyria, Linquists, your team. That's like, that's like 15 people. I grew up <laughs> in a city of people and I spent many years in Artlum. Yeah, that place. Oof. I've met many people. Good and bad, something in the middle. But you... You have a strength about you that you... Constantly deny, but it's there. I can sense it. I just wish you would... Recognize it too. Lyria told me that you were too kind, and she was right. I'm not kind. <laughs> Silly, oh, come I'm just on. honest. <laughs> honest kind of goes with being kind. You can also be bluntly honest, but you seem to be I on the kind side of things. Oh, it's not about it. It's just... I loved my mother so much that I think I was always afraid that if I had told a lie or did anything wrong, that I might lose some of that affection. And maybe that's why I, the one time I finally broke that clause, I asked Lyria to steal the necklace, and I think that's why it hit me so hard. I've never done anything like that. That's exactly what's so good about you. You're... You carry a heavy burden, even regardless of the team that you're with. But you do what you need to do to protect them. No matter what, even at your own expense. And... That's strength. He smiles. Strength, stupidity, however you want to look at it. Just naivete. But I get what you mean when you say, or when you said, that you'd do anything to protect yourself from losing the affection, right? I think I've been running with that notion for my entire life. Trying to appease people, live by other people's creeds and wishes, and you know, losing yourself in the process. And that's to the point I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> but we're not here to talk. That's all that matters. You're the Eden that we all love. <laughs> Oh, silly young, you're again, Ace, Ace was, or <laughs> Lyria was right about you. You're just too nice. I just hope you're not. I hope you're not taking on a heavier burden than you need to by thinking these things. <laughs> I carry so many now, I don't even know which one's heavier. So what's one more? Like I said, regardless, you're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about you. There's nothing to talk about, really. Yes, there is. <laughs> the meeting didn't work out. I know that. I talked to Lyria right before she left. You know, she it's strange. Mm -hmm. I almost knew it wouldn't. It was too good to be true. I thought the same thing. I let her go anyway. I should have followed her. I should have done so many different things, but Ace is such a wild spirit that <laughs> she's going to do what she wants. And if she wanted my help, she would have asked for it. And I respected that. I know we'll meet again. I can feel it. Yeah. But and hopefully 
Hopefully with your mom, too. I've been looking for her ever since I've learned about her, but not gonna lie, information hasn't been easy to come by. I'm gonna still keep looking, though. Thank you. As much... <laughs> my pleasure. As much as I said that some of your family should have been drowned in vats of wine, I still hold to the sum of that, but... Perhaps think... some of them do. <laughs> I know Ace and your mother, they're the good ones. And Ace really loves you. Yeah. She really, really does. And not, not just in a soulmate way. She told me that she actually loves you. Her I feelings. Know she loves me. No, 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 no. Her feelings have developed, Silyong. What do you mean? The truth! <laughs> What do you mean? Romantically. Uh, you see his face blush. You've never seen this before. I don't. What? She said you would probably short circuit when you heard that, but. Uh, that can't be <laughs> right. Well, it is. It, no, no, no. Silly Young? And I. Hmm? Silly Young? Hmm? Dearest. Look, ladies, ladies talk about different things, you know? And, uh, she does. You must I... have misunderstood what she had truly meant, Eden. You don't understand the life we've lived. I think she said something along the lines of, she didn't really understand it, but now she thinks she loves you. And, uh, yeah. I don't think I misunderstood. Trust me, I've been married. I know I know what this looks like. She told you this explicitly? Yeah. I um don't take this the wrong way, but I really don't think that's the case. Silly Ong, don't deny her her feelings. You're the therapist here. I you don't I know you've spent a year with Lyria, but you don't understand her like I do. Oh, well, I think I understand her pretty good. We got pretty close. He just like sits back in his chair. I it's... trust you wholeheartedly, Eden, but I really, really don't believe this. Well... I'm not going to force you to believe it, but just take it under consideration from a trusted source. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Just hoped it was something that would either make you feel better Ro or... Romantically, you said? <laughs> yeah. Like, as in romance? Y yes Poor silly I, um... She was definitely right about the short-circuiting part. Maybe I should have gone about this uh, a little gentler, I'll, I'll, but, uh, like... I'll have to think this through a bit. Um, it was understandable. Really talking to you, Eden. He stands up. Hey, um, hey, 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 hmm? hey. Hmm? Yeah, yes. Just... Uh, never mind. You have a good one. I'll see you at the test. He exhales, and he puts his hand on your shoulder. If you ever need anything, I can help share that burden. I do know what it's like to be a leader. God, everybody keeps calling me that. You may not be the, def the uh, literal leader of the team, but I know that's how everyone sees you, for better or worse, for you. <laughs> um, but um, we have a couple more hours we should probably prepare uh, uh yeah right do it you need help getting back no I'll be fine but it was great talking to you Eden yeah you too <laughs> and he walks off and you could tell he's walking a little slower than he did before when he walked into the restaurant 
this point, there's there's some time left. We're gonna act so while everyone is preparing, Jong, you make your way. Yes. Making your way to the arena. Oh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And you see that there is one person sitting outside, but the tent looks pretty empty right now. All right, that's the entrance, you mean? Like, to yeah, get there's like the... one person standing at the flap of the tent. Okay, Zhang walks over to the person at the tent. We're not open yet. State your business. <clears throat> I need to borrow the space for a minute. He looks at you close. Oh, you're the guy. Yeah, he's inside waiting for you. Thank you. Jong walks on in. You walk in and it's completely empty. There's like maybe one person coming in and out of another entrance in the back who's like, you know, putting weights up and just kind of setting everything up, tables and chairs. But standing in the middle of the arena is Boris. Kept me waiting. Jong just stares at Boris. I don't have much time, so spit it out. What do you want? Ari Boris. I thought I didn't remember you. But that name. You can just call me Boris. My family name doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Oh, it does, Ari Boris. It most certainly does. Just call me Boris. You asked me why I called you here. What do I want? Zhang slowly draws a sword. I want to hit something. And then he charges at Boris with his sword. Roll initiative. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we have ourselves a battle. A 12, my guy. A 12? A 12. You go Where first. I find it? Oh, all right. Let me shut up. Um, uh, all right, we're going to do... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Hold on, because I just upgraded this move. Wait, Joe, is the is the my character sheet? Is this the upgraded version of um? Uh, which move? Of cross slash. Or is that uh, still on the upgrade sheet? I can pull I it think up. it's still on the upgrade sheet. Okay, okay, hold on, let me pull it up. I have it here. Oh, okay. Uh, increase the damage to D eight, and then uh. Yeah, and then half damage if you fail. Yep. Okay, so it's the same, like... Uh, in, okay, okay. It's the same exact... Uh, way. Yep. Okay, so you have to make a deck saving throw, right? Oh. Is that what it says? Yeah, it says target makes a deck saving throw, and if they okay. fail... Well, that's the original... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You strike with Y. Fail. Ooh, okay. How many... How many slashes? How much... Have? We're gonna do. We're gonna do six. Six DP? Okay. Mm hmm. So that's three slashes. Yes, sir. And then that's what? Why? D8 it's it's a D8 three, now? Three times, yep. Okay, so D8. Okay, that's two tens and one six, so twenty six. Twenty six for the sixty feet. Okay, go ahead and describe it for me. Okay, so immediately, as like Jong had previously drawn his sword, charges at Boris, and then like in an instant, he's on top of him and just starts swinging his sword around in this like flurry of slashes and cuts him three times. Okay. You slash three times, and he. He grunts in pain, 
And you can tell he tried to block every single one, but he was too slow. But he lands on his feet and then charges at you and swings. And this sword is so huge, but he is wielding it with one hand. You can tell it's made out of some heavy material. He swings 22 to hit. Oof. Yeah, I mean, that hits. <laughs> okay. Cool. So he deals six damage with the slash. But then he also ends up kicking you as hard as he can. Ooh. Which also will hit. That's not, that's like a, what, uh, 18. Okay, so what's that deal? What's... That's gonna be... Yeah, just six di six damage additionally from the kick, which knocks you back. Oh, it's six in total? Nope, six for the slash, six for the kick. The slash oh, 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 oh. didn't actually... You ain't able to dodge most of it, but then the kick hits you right in the gut. Gotcha, gotcha. This is more like it, he says. <laughs> all right, all right, where we got here, where we got here? Uh, I'm gonna use is that two or do I do that? TP of the three. I'm gonna use uh blade style somersault. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Bingo cart. Bingo cart. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> uh eighteen. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Let's take this. Wait. Oh. Someone says, Chad, I never imagined a fight between Maractus and Capneo. It'll be this intense. Well, here you go. <laughs> we, uh, we provide, you know? <laughs> Look, fans, don't say I never did nothing for you. Go ahead. All right, that's going to be a... Oh, I thought you had it. Sorry. Go ahead. 17... No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Am I doing this wrong? So, okay. Yeah, no, it's two D6s plus strength. Yeah, yeah, yep. 17. 17. Yep, okay. You bring down your blade with a huge amount of force. And he, you just slice him down his side, right where his shoulder is, bringing it down. It's a deep cut. <laughs> he grunts again. He clutches his arm for a second um, with his sword in his inventory just briefly. But then he grabs it and then charges at you and he starts spinning with his sword. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to make a deck save. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, Dex, that's gonna be a 16. Okay, roll again. Oh, mm -hmm. Same thing, Dex, one. Yep. Gonna be <laughs> a 17. Okay, roll again. Oh my god. That's a 10. He starts spinning back and forth with his blade, occasionally just spinning in a circle. And this thing is so, it, it seems bigger even when he's fighting with it, as if his arms are giving it extra range and he's, his uh, footwork. You're able to dodge and then dodge again, but then it comes back unexpectedly. It slashes you across the stomach. Oof. Seven damage as he slashes into you. Ow. <laughs> You're stronger than I thought you were. Yeah, you so should are give you. up now before I get serious. You mean before you start using that animal poison? You shut the hell up. Come on, Boris. Tell me what you can really do. Alright, let's see. I think we're just gonna do a good old standard sword slash attack. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is that, what is that, what is that? 14, is that hit? 14 does not hit as he brings oh. up his blade, stopping you as you bring it down. And then as soon as he does, he shoves the blade off and then tries to stab you with his blade. Woo! Seven, uh, no, 18. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Uh, so I think you should have reconsidered the terms of this fight. 
sorry. Give um, it to me straight, Doctor. 17 damage as the blade slides through your shoulder Oof. and just pierces Shit. in and out. And the blade, I mean, it's it, the pain is excruciating. He brings it out and blood just splatters across him, your and his your jacket and his coat. He brings it back and then readies himself. <clears throat> like I said, we're done here, right? And Jong slowly starts to stand up, puts his hand on his sword as electricity starts to coat the entire blade. And he looks up at Boris and there's like a little spark of lightning in his eyes. Oh, we're not done. We're just getting started. Jong takes a long exhale in and he breathes out as he uses life's breath. And Shinsu starts to pour all over his body. Okay. And uh, we're going to use, let's see, let's see, let's see here. Wait, hold on. It's it's multiplied, right? By the amount of SP? Uh, yeah, times two. Times two. Times two. Times two? Okay, so two. All right, we'll do four. So eight. Okay, perfect. Your wounds start to close up as you're ready for the, ready for the next attack from Boris. He sizes you up and down after seeing that attack. His, his eyebrows narrow as if he's unsure of what you were doing. But then he slides in and he swoops with his blade at your feet. Oh, on my toes. Man, okay. That's gonna be oh 18 God. again. Oh Lord. Shing. 10 damage as he oh. slashes your legs. Give it up. I'm not even trying. You want to see me use that power, right? Think again. <laughs> no, actually. This is exactly what I wanted, Ari Boris. You see, you and I aren't so different. You and I have a power in us that who knows, maybe it could kill us. Maybe you could make us two of the strongest regulars in the entire tower. The power comes at a cost. However, there's different types of power. There's the power that we were given, the power in our blood, the power given to us by our family, and then the power that we took, or the power that was given to us without our permission. You see, Boris, I haven't been so sure about you from the moment I stepped foot on this floor. I've got a question for you. That sword. And John like takes this, his sword and he just stabs it into the ground next to him. What are you doing? Why do you swing that sword? Why do you fight? Why do you... And he stops himself. And just puts it on his... Across his shoulders. I hate my family. I hate the way they raised me. I hate the garbage they spew at me. And I hate them more than anything in this world. Is that good enough for you? No, actually, it's not. You see, Boris, I'm all about hating your family. I'm not a big fan of mine. I get the desire, the urge even, to want to make them pay. It's like an itch you just can't scratch. However, simply believe in, and then he holds out his hand as electricity starts to like course up and down his arm. Simply believe in using the gifts they gave me to do it. See, Boris, I don't care if you want to kill your family. I don't care if you want to kill the whole family. I don't care if you want to kill all of the 10 great families. 
but that animal poison in you isn't going to do it. It's only going to get you killed you and turn you into anything. an... I know nothing that relying that. on power that isn't yours is only going to put you in a deeper hole than you're in now. And that only makes you even more pathetic. If you want to be somebody truly worthy, if you want to be somebody who truly deserves to stick it to your family, then do it with your own blood, not someone else's. Because believe it or not, and then John grabs his sword and he like, he pulls out of the ground and cheese it back on his back. Workshop battle or not. And he smiles at Boris. You're one of the regulars I want to fight the most. He just stares at you, looking at both of your eyes. We'll settle this at the workshop battle then. Looking forward to it, Ari Boris. I... He stops himself. And then he starts walking past you, close to your shoulder, but he doesn't quite touch it as he just walks right past you out of the tent flap. Uh, 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 one of the workers comes up. Is everything fine? You, uh, your, your shoulder, I mean, that was... Um, <clears throat> uh, you, um... Woo! And Jean just kind of looks at him with this like very deadpan look. Get out of here. I work here. Um, I don't know. If I, I, mean, I, I said, money. I, <laughs> get out of here now. He just walks back with his hands up and just kind of sides his way out of the tent. Bro, bro got a whole day off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I help people. Okay, I'm going to say it's getting pretty close to noon. So, if there's anything else that needs to be done, it needs to be really quick. Uh, I still have to do this call. Go, oh, right. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to send you a message. Sending me a message? Okay. Yeah. To give context for this here. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, I can, but it's not relevant okay, right now. Okay, then we're good. Yeah. Um, okay, you end up calling Lushi. So right now, Wu and Leaf are on the top of the same building that he was watching Jong and Jerry's conversation from the tallest okay. building he can find in Prime City. Leaf's like looking down from above, uh, kind of gulping a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's a little high, but no, it's, lots it's, of privacy up here. It's cool, actually. I've climbed a lot of trees, but nothing like this. Um, yeah, when it's done. Voice. Wait, you want to call him like live, right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no mute session. You guys. Can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you hear his voice over the pocket. Well, well, well. There's my student. It's been a while. About time you called. I feel like I say that every time, though. Yeah, master. You know you got a phone too. You can call me. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, you know how it is. The student has to show the master love. Ah, at least you're getting better. Not as overbearing. Look, I got some questions. Can you help me? It's important. I can see what I can do. What's up? You're not in Prime City right now, are you? No, no, I'm not in Prime City, but I will be soon. I mean, uh, well, let's, let's just say that I'm interested in this little competition you're getting started. I knew you'd be coming, Master. You don't have to hide it from me. I just wanted to know if you're here now or if you'll be here later. I'll be there later. Don't worry about it. You're gonna knock this participation entry thing out of the park, right? I don't know why you do that. It sounds boring. Sure. That's that's all well and good. Three things. One, you told Leaf about Mirth, didn't you? Silence from the other end. Ooh, it's really not... Yeah, I, I did. Figured she had a right to know. That's fine. I figured. She didn't react at all when I just told her about it. I figured she had to have known before. 
and I look and narrow my eyes and look at Leaf. What else did he tell you? I, I, nothing much, really. I'm, I'm sure she'll tell you all the details, which is totally fine. You know we don't keep secrets from each other. Yeah, I'm trying to get on this no secrets thing, Master, and it's kind of hard when literally everybody else loves it. Now, what I actually called you for, I think Ice here is already moving. Ace is gone. We lost track of her. The pink haired chick? Oh, damn. I actually didn't see that coming. Well, that, that's not good. Um, they're slacking a little bit. Can you tell me the details? We went to meet our friend Siliong at our warehouse, and which was surrounded by Jihad's army. It doesn't seem like they have her, but she's gone without a trace. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Sounds like something that our little organization could have certainly been up to. I'll keep a near out and see what I can find out about her. Good. That's all I needed. Let us know if you find out anything. I don't want to keep the team in the dark about but it. But in Maybe return, that. you better win this thing, right, Wu? You're gonna win the workshop battle, right? And you're gonna get that item, right? Don't I have to win to get the item, Master? Wasn't that the plan all along? <laughs> you better win. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, I don't feel like I'll lose. I've been training a lot lately. Even came up with a new technique that might let me get the drop on you. Oh, you'll finally land a hit after all these years. That's hard to believe. And you don't want to... Like, like, surprise, surprise. Uh, it's like, as long as I survive, one of these days I'm bound to surpass you, Master. <laughs> he just starts laughing from the other end, like, laughing for like 25 seconds straight. And then I get really serious and interrupt his, his laughter. One last thing, before you get here, we can talk about it. If and when I see you, but I need a favor. Can you put me in contact with Uncle Kieran? That's something that I don't really have much control over. We haven't really, it's, you know, it's been a but while. You can talk to him whenever you want, Master. Oh, I know I that. do whatever I want. But it sounds like well, he's commanding me to do a few things that are a bit... Out of my I'm not commanding you to- well, since when can I command you, Master? I'm asking you if you would be so kind as to put me in touch with Uncle Kieran. It's important. Right, I apologize for assuming that you would ever do that. No, no, no. Uh, On top of that, that, you know I wouldn't ask I for anything to do with my family if it wasn't. It. No, I know. I know. I'll see what I can do, but no promises. Okay, kid? All right, well, I'll keep up my end of the bargain and win this thing. See you soon. Better be seeing you on TV when you win. Same for you, Leaf. <laughs> right, thanks, Master Zushi. Boop, boop, boop. Hangs up. Hangs up. All right, Leaf. I think it's about time for this meeting. Should get going. Yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, so just, uh, yeah, grab my hand, and we just jump down from here. <laughs> Ha! And then we just dive off. <laughs> uh, don't we have the um, ICR meeting? I did it again where I was meeting on OBS. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that so, whole time? Oh, no. no, no, it wasn't the whole time. It was just like... Uh, okay. um, Leaf just screamed when Wu jumped off the, uh, the building. Um, so, yeah, it's nearing the meeting time. Damien, did you share the location? Damien! Damien Frog! Damien Frog is also muted. The frog he, did. Boy. he did share the location. I, I did. Station 3 Alley, okay. uh, 1155. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, I, was, yeah. I was muted the whole time. Yeah, whoops. I don't know what's going on. Man. We're good. It's Man, Brack, why was the broom late? Uh, because it was a clean sweep. What, what, it I mean... <laughs> no, it, it overswept, which is what happened with me and my mute. My mute. 
Was that an out of universe Damien joke? No, that was the in universe. But you were Sorry. saying you were muted, so like. Okay. Yeah, because Frace Felger like crawled right, into my mouth okay. and shut me up. Okay. Well, Damien well, can't break sure the fourth wall. Like that. that is canon, so. True, true. Okay, I shouldn't have questioned it. So. Yeah. So are we all in the apartment at this point? Have we all converged back yeah, there? Yeah, like if you want, yeah. Like, you know, Stex's apartment's not far from you. You're all just like making sure you have everything before you head out for good. Okay. I've got one more. What do you call a belt made of watches? I don't know, Damien. What do you call it? A waste of time. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I... <laughs> We're gonna... We're gonna win this. <laughs> He's like, I got a good feeling about this. <laughs> we all die. <laughs> okay, so um, going once then for any, you know, everyone's just kind of doing their own thing, preparing. So, uh -huh. everyone, before we go meet with all the big bads and go to those tests, it's certainly gonna, you know, seal our fate and doom and everything. Um. We need to talk as a team. We need oh. to get on some same pages before we go do this. Otherwise, his eyes widen. this isn't going to go well. Brock is right. always... Fair enough. Brock believes that we should do what the leader says. Fuck yeah. Yeah, everyone, let's, uh, let's gather around. It must be pretty important if Eden would bring it up like this. All right, but we do have a meeting at 55, so what is it about? That'll be quick. Don't worry, you'll get to talk with your little boyfriends and girlfriends that I see, Damien. Uh, okay, I don't exactly like love that tone, but go ahead. <laughs> right. Okay. Look, we are... Extremely fractured, and have been probably since Arlem. And we need to either be on the same page going forward, or there is no more going forward. The democracy thing has been fun, yeah. I'm not keen on the leadership thing anymore. There's a lot of secrets and different factions and people doing things on their own accord and getting into trouble. And she looks over at Wu. And, people and I just shrug my shoulders like I've been a perfectly innocent person for the last year, <laughs> which I have. <laughs> and I am just concerned that the more that this continues, the more secrets we keep and the more lack of actual trust keeps happening we're not going to make it so what I'm just trying to say is we need a leader did I ask you to speak sorry <laughs> I'm trying to help I didn't say anything about being a leader I just said we as a team need to get on the same page a leader, leader or no leader Eden's right an elected that official. Thinking about. No, let's forget that for a second. There's an underlying point here that Ian is trying to make that I think we're missing. You're jumping the gun, Victor. Leader's all well and good, but we are all operating to the own beat of our drum, so to speak. We have mad secrets between ourselves that don't need to be there. Sure, if it's personal, that's whatever, but ever since we got to this floor, Things are already being set in motion. We need solidarity if we're going to survive what's to come. Look, and if we've got the families on us, and Aesir, and probably Jihad's army at this point... <laughs> I mean, the chances of us making it anyway are pretty low, but like... I mean, I see you guys as... family now, and I just want us to... either figure things out, or cut our losses before any of us get hurt. I don't think anybody here wants to cut losses. I think everybody's pretty determined to climb. So, with that said, 
before we entertain Victor's idea, let's share everything right now. There's no need to hide things anymore. I think that's the whole reason that Leaf got to the point that she got to earlier. It's getting exhausting. I'm tired of it. So I'll start. I well, just called I... Zushi. He's looking into ice here for us. He may or may not find Ace. I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. I've challenged Jairus to a fight. I told Jong, but y'all might as well know that Jairus and Elias' team might have something out for us, which is kind of apparent at this point. But it is what it is. And no, I think I think that's it for me for now. Anybody else want to share? So I did tell a lot of people about this already, but I know what's going on with Fluxfolk. And it is not good. She is hurting herself, and it's cause for great concern. I was going to tell everyone. I really was. That has always been my plan. People may see me as getting really close to ice here, but I myself want to investigate them myself. My loyalty has always been to the team. I've put my past grudges aside. And I'm always trying to work in our favor. Even if it looks like I'm sneaking off, I I really do am trying to work for what's best for the team. And I'm willing to share any info I get. That being said, if we win this uh, competition, we may have a chance to meet Father from Iseer. Wait, what? Why would we want to do well, that? Well, that's the best way to get the most information, going from the direct source. Fluxwolk will also be in the competition. Ooh, wait, Flux oh. is here? Boy. She is. And you brokered this deal when you I didn't broke the other day. I didn't broker any deal. It's an it challenge given to me. Wait, what? what is the challenge exactly? Win the workshop battle. Oh, well, we were going to do that anyway, but... We, if we do that, if, we, if we do that, we prove ourselves. Are you sure meeting up with this guy is the right idea? He saved my life once. I do trust him. I mean, father, and his father died. oh well, that I don't know. But I mean, if we want answers, he would be our best bet. Meeting up with him is the fastest course. Damien's right. They clearly want us for whatever their machinations are, and running away from them isn't an option, so we might as well get to the bottom of it together. Or and we could do what Sushi suggested and be double agents. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. that's, all, that's that always goes without the, saying. Yeah, that's always on the table. We're just uh, investigating, understanding the organization better. But yeah, Damien, even if you it's better, Eden's right, it's better that we all are aware, even if you do continue to leverage the situation in a solo capacity. I could have sworn I told everyone on the 21st floor that I had a meeting with Bool. Oh, yeah, I just didn't realize that it made that much of an impact on you. And it was also under the guise that he saved you from the two Yeons that were trying to kill you. So I didn't well, know if it was just Iseer coming in to make sure we all don't die because they value us so much or if it was actual like contact i hate being a pawn as much as all the rest of you if we're gonna play the game i'd rather well be the one in charge so to speak mm, shift the board i like it but with that said i can't say for sure if ours and icier's goals don't align well, I guess there's only one way to find out, so... So, please forgive my, uh, sneakiness. Nobody's blaming you, Damien. You're not at fault. That's good. Then I'm glad everyone understands I did it for information. Of course. I think that's great, Damien. Tell us if you everyone. have anything else about them. Pardon me? Tell us if you found out anything else about them. Of course, absolutely. The oh. intel I learn is your intel. 
guys, and I'm like looking around at everybody else. Uh, anything else anybody else wants to oh, lay out on the table? Pick me, pick me. This isn't about leadership, is it, Victor? I'm not gonna lie, every once in a while I draw some money from the syndicate funds. Which I've Wait, what? you guys that I'm using for other purposes, but really what? I'm buying fruit gushers with it that I what? on Saturday nights. What are you talking about? You I make more money than me. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> I put it on the syndicate bill. I, don't, I think it's small enough that you all don't notice. I say it's for other reasons. That's the honest truth. Okay. You right. will reimburse you. us. Thank you for being honest. I, uh... Um... No, no, no. I'm gonna need an itemized list of every purchase. <laughs> Yeah, we need receipts. It's tiny think... enough that it wouldn't even matter. Just don't even, don't even worry about you. Oh, All right, it's been going on. A couple years, no big deal. Oh um, but also, I've been sneaking out at night to talk to uh, women about information because it's easier to get information out of women when you're information. Answers. You I've know, Victor, I too, I too like to dabble with women in the night from time to time for information. <laughs> I feel like this leader isn't about information anymore. At this point, <laughs> I learned that most teams have a leader. I think it might even be some kind of requirement. If they ask us who our leader is, we might need to kind of kind of have an answer. Okay, to Victor, hmm? I was more so asking, not some petty larceny shit, not about the other I, teams. I, I was more so asking about you. Me? What about me? Anything you feel as though opening up about with your past or your personal history or what's going on with your mental state now that might help the team thrive? Let me think. Uh, my life is so unimportant that it would probably matter as much as zilch to you, all of you. So, no, oh, nothing to share. Who believes that? I have something I want to share, you know, since you want to, you know, tell us that you've been embezzling funds from the syndicate. Uh, I met with Bulwark, had a nice conversation just between two gentlemen, you know, two guys just palling around, called them a couple of names, haha, -ha, laughed back and forward. And then I told him that I was going to tell the truth about who killed his brother. And I just stare at Victor in his ass. I've been wrestling with it. I, w I, I was trying to think if I was going to tell him or not, or if I should just tell him anyway, given the conditions we set. I'm going to tell him anyway, and I'm going to tell him the gory details. I'm going to tell him how you stabbed his brother in the back, Victor, if you don't put them goddamn funds back into the account. Tell him. It'll be one less weight off my heart. Tell him. I didn't care. Sure. I knew you didn't care. God dang it. Anyone else? John? Got anything to say? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I do. Actually. Look, Eden said that this team has been pretty fractured, and if we can't find some common ground that maybe it's time to call it quits I'm going to tell you all something but if I do it stays in this room nobody that isn't in this room can know about this and he looks at everybody Eden just nods her head I was looking at him like, really, you really gotta ask me that, bro. Yeah, of course. Victor just gives you a thumbs up. You guys know, uh... Well, most of you, about the fate powers that we got from Ice here. I'm trying to ignore that. Well, um... I found out mine are complicated, to say the least.
I don't know how. I don't know why. And I don't even know how to control it. But some way, for some reason, I can talk with ghosts, souls of the dead. Oh. Hmm. The leaf looks absolutely bewildered. What do you mean? Souls of the dead? And that's not the worst of it. These ghosts that live in my head or somewhere inside me. Right now, there's only one in there. And it's Lord Signe. Wait. No. You're not serious. You're joking. Why would Lord Signe be there? This is a joke. Um, Look, I knew you. ever since the 26th floor that something like this was going on. I didn't want to say anything because I thought I would sound crazy, but Signe? Really? Wait, 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 wait. She's in your head. Yeah. And it's her. Like, actually her. Yep. It's really her. What the fuck? Are you able to... Is she giving you power? Is she telling you to do things that you don't want to do? I don't know what she is giving me, but I just found out recently that whatever the end of the bargain is for me, it's come at too high of a cost, a cost I'm not willing to pay. You've been... You've been indulging this power for years now. That light on the 26th floor, that was her? Yeah. Mm. What can we do to help? And Jong stands up. Nothing. The reason I got this power is from Iseer. They're the ones who have answers. They're the ones that I need to talk to. But just know that if I can't get a hold of this power, I am fully prepared to leave this team. Because right now, I am nothing but a danger to each and every one of you. And I, and I grab it and I'm like, shut up. You're not going anywhere. Ooh, we're gonna we're figure this out. Kidding. You know, Nobody said you were joking. You're not going anywhere. We will all figure this out together. And as long as you're still you, you're not a danger to any of us. That's just it, Wu. I don't know how much longer that statement is true. Well, the point is, you are, are you you right now? I'm talking to John, yes. My brother, right? Yeah. But I thought, so as long as you're there, we're fighting with you. We'll figure it out. I'll come up with something to fix this. If it's linked to... If it's linked to memories, then maybe I can do something about it. It's not a, a memory, Damien. It's... I can feel her soul. It's like she's alive. Signe is the only one. Look, if Flux unlocked these powers, maybe she knows how to unlock, or to relock them, or get rid of them, and that would maybe cut off the connection? No. I think Luke is right. We go to Father, and we talk to him. It would 
be our most direct source, but we have to win the workshop battle. Look, uh, Victor gives you a weird look, John. Yes, Victor? No, no, nothing. Just uh, looking at my brother. <laughs> John, at any point, were you not in control? Earlier today, I went to go meet with Xion. She. What? Please tell me she's okay, John. Please. Need puts a hand on his shoulder. She's fine. She's fine. I stopped it, but this is my point. I don't know what this is, and I don't know if I can control it forever. If I can't get a hold of this, any one of you could be next. I can't speak for everybody here, but I can speak for myself when I say I don't care. That's what my fate is, as long as I'm by your side when it happens to help you. That's all I care about. Well, I'm not going to be responsible for getting you killed. You can't kill me, John. As a matter of fact, I'm not worried about dying. Even if you did kill me, I wouldn't regret a thing. But, let's think about the alternative, where we all figure this out together and get ahead of it. That's what we should be focused on. Well, that's a nice thought. Like and it's about it damn time we all start having some nice thoughts around here. Positivity! Woo! I'm serious. No, really. This is, this is good. Yeah. This is great. I'm... I don't know about you guys, but I woke up in a great mood. <laughs> So let's try and win this for our sake. Eden? Yeah. What do you think we need to do? I think this is a good first step. I think we need to ramp up our responsibility to ourselves and to each other. Like I said, that has to come from unfettered trust. And Zhang, I didn't know that was weighing you down, and I'm very sorry. What are you sorry for? It's not your fault. As far as I can understand, none of this icier stuff is any of our faults, but it's something we have to deal with. Eden, you don't get it. This icier power. It may have been given to us unwillingly. But I had the option to reject her. And I said yes. This is very much my fault. Do you remember what I told Flux's fault when we started to fight Signe? In Seoul. Do you remember? No. I told Flux that if she could give us more power, I would let her do anything. I understand. Because without their help, I'm not going to be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish. My desire will mean nothing. So I get it. She offered you a deal you couldn't refuse. But the fact that you accepted her also means that there is the possibility that you can reject her. She might have slipped through today because of emotions or whatever the mechanism is that makes that work. But you 
can reject her. She might still rattle around in there like an old bat, but we can, she looks at everybody, get through this battle, this tournament together, and we get some answers, hopefully, from Iseer. We're all going to be stronger for it. Not only as a team, but as friends, comrades, everything. And I think I can speak for all of us in saying that I think we would all go out of our ways to help everybody here. No matter what they're going through, no matter what they do, they're getting controlled by some, some crazy old ghost. crying out on a bridge, or being frustrated that a decision didn't work, or trying to help an old man understand that his philosophy might have been a little flawed, challenging people we don't, we shouldn't challenge, keeping secrets because things aren't interesting. doesn't matter. Either we leave this apartment as a team or we don't leave this apartment at all. And I'm perfectly happy to walk away from this battle. I can't. But I also have to say I don't want us to walk away from this as a team. I want us to walk away from this as a family. There's no need for family to hide things from each other. And there's no need for family to contest each other for no reason. I agree. Let's... Let's all do our best for the benefit of all of us and not make a decision... a biased decision that would only benefit one of us. Let's... Let's prepare ourselves. Let's have the seven of us go into that battle and win this thing. For all of our own personal reasons, but together. As a family. Who knows? Maybe if we all just stop seeking power outside ourselves from shady sources and start relying on each other, actually, we might be stronger than ever. Eden puts a hand on Damien's shoulder and looks him straight in the face. That means you won't be lonely anymore. <laughs> well, we've got a game to win, don't we? Let's show them who's boss. Stex's team, Sil Young's team. Let's try not to kill them, though, if it comes down to oh, it. Oh, no, definitely, definitely no killing. Uh, well... Why would if we they're kill not their... on those two teams? Why would Look, we kill the... them? I, I I'm mean... just saying the tower's the tower if we can, you know, avoid casualties, especially of Unless our friends. Not... I mean, if Nile has to die, Nile has to die. I'm not really going to contest that one. I don't well, think so. Come on. I, he was like the least harmful one of the. Okay, bunch. let's let's oh. let's focus. Let's get back yeah, to the, okay. the wholesome moment where oh, we just were. By the were... way, guys, there was, there was one secret I was keeping. I think Laura might be here, and I'm kind of nervous, so. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. The last time Ooh, I talked to her, piece. she, uh, yeah, she probably got here before us. Hmm. I'd like to see her again. You would? Um, yeah, she's cool. She's what? She's really <laughs> cool. And she's also <laughs> Wu's girlfriend. And aren't we all happy about it? The she's not my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Well, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, this is no, Victor no. we're talking about. Uh, guys, we're running really late. Um, I think the meeting is in like five minutes. Yep. If yeah, you want go. answers, it's time to go. Let's go. Brack, Victor wouldn't dare. I don't know. He said late nights creeping down low. Oh. Well, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. All, all of you end up leaving the apartment and heading toward station three. And this is when it's getting crowded during the day as all the regulars are gathering up 
at this train station and you see in the air above you this long it's not super tall or gigantic but it's a very long train that is like floating in the air um, and you see floatstone below it that's powering it up letting it float in the air above you as you all approach by the time you get there it's like 11 57 and you see all kinds of regulars who are there you see members of team stexa who greet you and they they say hello you see team blessing off kind of by themselves off in a corner but they're all talking and preparing and you see all kinds of regulars that you have never seen before some of them that you recognize perhaps but you can't place it um you hear laughter and and woohoo's coming from another corner where you hear taki's voice and members of team loud and proud <laughs> oh i forgot they were here um you hear uh, it's just so loud and chaotic and crazy And, uh, more late. We should get to that alley, right? Let's hustle. You make your way to the alley, and inside the alley, you find one person waiting for you. Now, guys, this was this meeting was hard to arrange. So, if you could treat him with a little bit of respect, uh, you know. Everyone. Uh, nice to see you all. You called the kid. <sighs> What? Uh, yeah, Boo's oh. a, a little busy, but I hope uh, it's okay if you talk with me instead. Yeah, you. He his hands in his pockets. You, you're, you're the kid that drove, drove the getaway car. What? You rem this you is... remember? I mean, yeah. Um, name's Percy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who had Percy? My, he was my guide. A good kid too. Ask him yeah. anything. Guide is in. Guide guide or like oh, well I see his hideout was kind of in a um, bit of a hidden area. So, uh, so Bool told me to tell you to tell everybody that we can talk, but on the train. Oh. Is that okay? Wait, are they on the train? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're on the train already. And oh, they think fun. that the crowded train is the best place to have this discussion? Um, that this just what they told me, and honestly, yes, because you're going to be talking to me instead. I mean, to be fair, it, the test is in like three minutes. They thought it'd be too dangerous if you were seen with them, I guess, before the test, so you'd be talking to me instead. Wait a minute, That's let me get this straight. We requested a meeting, all of us, with them to get on the same page, and they didn't even feel it was relevant to be here in person. It was a big time constraint, man. Now, yeah, to be fair. If that's right. the case, let's look at this logistically. Then we need to get on the train because it is very crowded. Isn't that correct, Percy, was it? Yeah, yeah, you know my, I mean, yes. Yes, you just you introduced yourself. Okay, right. let's get to the train then, Let, everyone. Let's move. let's move everyone. And he ends up taking the lead. And while he's walking, he pulls a little yo-yo and starts playing with it, but then he uh, quickly puts it back in his pocket. Let's, let's go, I'll, let's go. I'll lean over to Percy. Bro, this is a cool little fit you got going here, man. Really like that. Thanks, thank you. You look good too. Uh, he, that's not how you reply to compliments. Eden snaps person. around and looks at both of them. Uh, mm. Let's let's keep moving. Just <laughs> I, I just I just raise my hands at Eden like I had no intention of. <laughs> <laughs> And just cracks they, a grin. <laughs> it's oh, noon by the time please, you make it back. Please forgive me for this shit show of the conversation we're gonna have. You all are waiting there. A couple minutes pass by. A couple more minutes. And before long, it's like 15 afternoon. And you see the regular saying, Hurry up! What's going on? What's taking so long? And others are saying, I wanna, I wanna go to Sefi Island! But there's no response. God, these millennials so impatient. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> can Eden roll perception to see like if she notices anything like odd going on? You certainly can. That is quite good. What is my Oh shoot, I closed out of that. That's the problem. I need my modifier, please. Um, <laughs> perception, uh, that would be a 19. 19! I'm gonna go ahead and 
message. Ooh, I like messages. They're like whispers. I'll take them. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Oops. Okay. Give me one moment. I just want to make sure I say this right. Okay. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Thank you, sir. Let's see what it says. Oh, oh boy. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Even sashays over or slides over as crowded as it is. Damien. Huh? What? Look over there. And she points in the direction. Damien, you see two figures that are very familiar to you. You see Jan Vaughn and Jan Fawn standing over by the train. They seem to be have both looking very serious with their expressions. Right. They're here. Of course they were, would. Were they, were they supposed to be here? Uh, well, I assume every rank regular would be here. That, uh, I actually forgot about. Okay. You okay? Huh? Oh, be yeah. Good? I'll be good. Don't no. sweat it. Damien, you know me. I worry about everything. Yeah, well, I mean, my goal no. is to win, not get revenge. Okay. All right. Just one to look out for you. And... Welcome, everybody! Thank you so much for your patience! And you start hearing a voice over the speaker. We are so excited for you to enter the workshop battle! As you enter, show your pocket to the conductor and you will be let onto the train! As long as you signed up when entering Prime City, you'll be all set for the workshop battle! And everyone starts cheering excitedly. The train ride will take us quite a ways, a few hour journey, but by the time you arrive, it'll be the beautiful site of Sepia Island, where the preliminaries will be held. Anyone who wins the preliminaries will be able to board our new floating ship, created specifically by the workshop, and enter the workshop battle as one of the few chosen participants. Woohoo! The crowd starts going wild. Everybody, please now board the train. There are multiple entrances for your convenience. And the regulars uh, start boarding. Pretty slow, though, uh, as these huge waves of regulars are boarding. Log jam. Bit of a jam. There's no first class seating for the top 10 E ranks. No. <laughs> Damn. Uh, 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 Hello, everybody! Uh, oh, jeez! I, I hope I'm not intruding. Uh, it, 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 I just figured, you know, since there was a jam in the line, I'd stop and say hello. Not for an interview. Not at all for an interview. I just wanted to say hi. And she puts her microphone. You are on your back. perfectly welcome to say hi if you just remove the microphone from our faces. It's but you can't see it. It's behind my back. You, you, it's out of sight. Out of sight. Out of mind. Great, great, great. So this is an interview. So you won't be paying us this fine morning just yet. She's uh, just not yet. giving pleasantries. Hello, Janice. How are you? G good. How are you doing, Eden? I've been better. You know, now that you're one of the top 10 E-Rank regulars, what is that exactly That mean? sounds like an interview. I, I swear it's not. I just, you know it's how I am. I'm so sorry. Um, it, how does it feel? It's an accident. How does it feel to be a top rank E-Rank regular? It's torturous. Right. Sorry for asking. Um, anyway, how are you? <laughs> We're doing good. How are you? Dennis, do, do all hate me? Are I'm you? so sorry if you... Are, are, no, really we definitely... Like I don't hate you. I don't know about the rest of them. John might hate you. But, are you actually even participating in the workshop battle? Of course, it's the best place to get the juiciest interviews. On the battlefield! And your team is just you and, uh, my point at this. 
Seriously, just you and a dog? Well, no, we're actually a part of a pretty prestigious team, so... Which yeah. team? Uh, well, maybe I should keep it a secret. <laughs> Do you really want to know? I can tell you, because I really want us to... I would honest. love to know. Have you heard of, um... Uh, the guy with four arms, and he's got, like, the purple hair, and he's got, like, the cool weapons? Jerry's? Jerry's. Yes, that's the one. Jerry, he let us onto the team. So we're on his team. Right, uh, buddy? And the dog just looks at her. Well, I'm so sorry to tell you, Janice. Hmm? That if you're on Jerry's team, I don't know if we can give you an exclusive. Nothing but, against but, 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 you, but... but, but we're, uh, I mean, this would be outside of the the realm of rivalry you know it would be oh, so, so is there like some sort of journalistic code that prevents you from sharing our information with your teammates mm -hmm. well it's it's a bit complicated just you know because i figured that being how we're all we're we know each other so well you would kind of mm -hmm. pass that fact a little bit uh yeah we'll resume this convo when you bring the money janice until then no comment Okay, yeah, sounds great. And, um, you said you wanted more info about him, right? Mm-hmm, that was part of the deal. Next time we get a chance, we can talk about it. Okay. All right, sounds good. I'm so sorry and if I, 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 look, I look at Brack and, like, as asking him if that's acceptable. Brack gives a thumbs up, smiles. Thank you guys so much. Hey, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And good luck in the preliminaries. I hope we both pass. Sounds good. And she just stands there. Dude, if they got... I just turned to the team. If they got her and whatever that mud is, that makes their team even more formidable. She knows everything about everyone. That is a concern. It doesn't matter. All we need to do is worry about the opponent in front of us. We may not even ever see Jerris. Oh, I'll see him. Woo. Hmm. Focus. I'm no, focused. Is right. This is. I told. I would. I. I thought. It sounds I was like clear. a side quest. You two are on. Right. We're but not. I privy will not. To. My point. No, you are privy because we just told you. I literally just told you. And what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to be transparent. Yes, it is a side quest. I won't let it interfere with what's best for us as a team and what we actually have to accomplish. But if it doesn't interfere, I would like to fight Jairus, that's all. While you're talking, you notice a commotion over to the side, very close to where you are. A lot of regulars seem to be grouped around one person. Are you Von Von Sycamore? Oh, I, can I please have an autograph? Can you can you please touch my... Oh, please, no, really, it's Oh, fine. what was that dude about just... to ask? <laughs> touch my what? Can you touch, we are in public. Can you please touch my sleeve. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, his sleeve. I'm sure his let's, sleeve let's is see. very excited to see uh, Bond 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 Sycamore. Please, please, please. Can I have a picture? <laughs> um, I would be more than happy to if you really wanted me to. And then she's posing with pictures, and you see her doing all kinds of poses, and like. She's not giving them hugs, but she's letting them hug her. She's beautiful, says Leaf. She looks like an Arie. <laughs> you guys see that she has antlers, right? Could be a yeah. headband. Did I hear mention of the Arie family? Oh, shut the fuck up, <laughs> <Yeah. now. laughs> I thought you were the one that was like a family denier it's for like been a while ever. Since we've spoken, I think. Look, that was that was the uh, no 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 transcendence. The enlightened Cal, Cal. Oh the, the, my God. The, the enlightened part of the esteemed Arya family. Do you know anything about this Fawn Von Sycamore? Well, I know she's not from the Arya family, but she is what the third strongest of the top ten. That's insane. Pretty impressive. Maybe she'd give me a run for my. Just kidding. She's definitely stronger than me, based on what I've heard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not on the list, buddy. I accept that. I know where I am, and I have to train to get hard, to get better. Train and harder get to get harder. better. You know what, Cal? That's something I always respected about you. You always understood the value of hard work. Thank you, Wu. Wish more people would um acknowledge that. But it's fine, you know. It's fine, really. You know, 
doesn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Carl, is there um a reason that you came over and decided to talk to us, or what? <laughs> Joe's leaving. <laughs> Said it with the straightest face. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Damn, dude. Uh, the name's Cal Silvers. You remember me? We spoke yesterday. And on that's the what I said, Carl. Time. Are you here to tell us something important, or are you kind of just in our way? I am waiting in line. Thank you very much. Well, I'm maybe you can go line. wait in another part of the line. Oh, and who's? we were friends are, are, is, are we not friends no 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 absolutely not not even a little bit and i'm oh. just like behind john nodding yes yes we're friends we're i'm your friend friends. good buddy thank you Damien. that doesn't count damien's friends with anybody <laughs> no we're friends <laughs> what john means to say is that we're all friends it's actually not what i meant to say at all our teams have an accord cal we'll tolerate your presence hmm. you know Y'all are way less friendly than I remember, but maybe I'm maybe my brain isn't working right. No. For once, yeah, we're, we can agree we're, we're trying here, Cal. As a matter of fact, if, whatever. I, I'm just you know, to get in line. I'm just trying down the stupid train, right? Well, do it quietly, please. Oh my God. Honestly, Cal, it might be best if you just move away from us. I, yeah, I honestly you know don't what? think there's know. anything for you here. Yeah. Uh, see you guys later. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. See you. Good luck, Cal. Jeez. Take care of Mr. 3.125. Bro, can you guys cut them a break just once? I told him to keep Stexus safe. He, we, you and I both know he's not capable of something like that. That's true. Uh, John. I'm related to him. <laughs> John, you look over and out of the corner of your eye, your eye you see Shion with her team. She kind of gives you a look but then looks away and she has this serious expression on her face as she's saying something and her team is just kind of looking down and Jason puts a hand on her shoulder <gasps> and uh hey yo <laughs> just say the word and I'll go over and cut the hand off bro the hand could come off let's see how good he is with his strikes and his fist the real workshop the battle has begun folks <laughs> you know what I'm saying I can do a lot with that hand. I'm is this a the test? The test just started. <laughs> Breck, he may fall. He may have followed our advice. Hold up! 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 I'm rolling animal handling. <laughs> oh, no. That's a 19 plus. <laughs> my animal handling is six, plus bro. Plus the Bro, when it counts, D and D comes yo, through. Yo, yo, uh, Mizaru, Mizaru, come through. Mizaru appears. Also. On the I hand him two cookies. Give this one to Iwazaru. Kikazaru gets nothing. Tell him I'm disappointed in him. <laughs> oh, what did Kikazaru ever do? <laughs> Kikazaru just silently sheds a tear. Yeah. You see that man over there in the red gi? Blind him. Kikazaru <laughs> uh, just starts hopping on over. We are the antagonists. <laughs> And uh, Jason just, he's, he's looking at Shion and nodding his head, and then suddenly two monkey paws <laughs> slap his eyes, and he just starts shaking, he's just, he's just twirling around. Just slap him. <laughs> and then he, and then Mizar starts returning to you. Here's an extra cookie, Mizar. good job. he starts mouthing, you can't hear what he's saying. Um, but then Shion has this worried expression, and she's like opening his eyes and like talking to him, and then she starts rushing him out of the crowd. Oh no, it backfired. Mizaru uh, looks happily, stares up happily at you. No, no, you did good, buddy. Don't worry about all that. I'll take care of it. Uh, here, here, here's, here's an extra cookie. So, go share with your brother. As a matter of fact, make sure you eat it in front of Kikazar. Thanks. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a tight ship, Wu Runs, bro. <laughs> you earn your keep. <laughs> <laughs> he said, matter of fact, spit in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and now a oh, number man. of people noticed. Sorry, Bracky, can I say them? Oh, no, I was going to say, those aren't even monkeys anymore. Those are wolves. <laughs> like, you kill what you eat. <laughs> 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 you eat what you kill. I mean. <laughs> oh, um, 
so, so time is passing by. You're getting close to the door. It's almost time. Um, eventually, uh, Shion does make your way back with Jason, and he seems to be better. And he's kind of looking around as if seeing who did it, but Shion just gives you a long, hard look, Woo. And she's walking back with him. And I just wave at her with a smile. <laughs> she leads him back. And uh, a couple of people did kind of look back at you too, but they kind of just ignored Bro, you. Bro, it only lasts for like 15 minutes. Yeah, Stop yeah. crying. <laughs> 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 he said, boo-hoo, you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> Still, y'all gotta deal with that permanently, bro. You just no! gotta be no! no! That's hey, no! Right, cool. Don't do that to oh, my boy. You're finally, you're, you're finally able to board the train. The conductor receives your information, lets you on, and you're able to find seats. And you notice in particular that Percy was sitting by himself, but he had like a bunch of different things like resting on the chairs around him and you even tell someone tries to sit there and he's like you, you know you can't hear what he says but he like tells them no and they keep walking and he catches your eyes and motions you forward there i saved six seats for you oh very cool but we have are seven the, are these like subway seats or like hogwarts seats they're like subway seats oh man <laughs> well, okay so people are gonna be standing over us and stuff yeah yeah bummer <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Victor says, "Don't worry about it. I'll go find a seat somewhere else, y'all. Y'all have fun no, with our new little friend." Hmm? Victor, you can stand, right? Or are you opposed to that? I mean, I look, yeah, man. That's a great idea. I'll just stand. You're part of the team. You're not leaving when we get the most important information. I appreciate that. I really do. Brock, I tell I'm sure Victor Brock to would take like his sit seat. in your lap. What? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brack sit in my lap. Sorry. I'm not stop. Okay. So. Brack will give <laughs> Victor his seat and he'll stand since the seats are small uh, anyway. No, you're like the leader of the syndicate. I couldn't do that to you. Our fearless leader. The one who I disappointed so much. Even leaders allow their subordinates to sit, so shut up and sit you got before it. I change my mind. Appreciate you. Embezzler. Oh gosh. <laughs> you know what? It's nice to see Brack be the bigger man. <laughs> uh, you all end up taking a seat, and before long, everyone's boarded. The train doors close, and the train starts moving pretty slowly through the air, occasionally rocking a little bit. And you hear a voice over the speaker. We'll be arriving on Sepia Island in just a few short hours. Enjoy the ride. All right. Let's get these questions out of the way. I'll answer them as best as I can. What do you want to know? Please be honest, Percy. Damien, you have the floor. Huh? Oh, he answered all my questions already. Although... I have a question from a friend. Uh, I want to know more about Soul. What happened to him? Well, Soul, you say? Um, I can't talk too much about the bishops, but I guess I can see what I can say. I really do want to help you guys. Um, I, I like you guys. Uh, so, Soul is the sixth bishop of Iseer. Soul Linquist. The Luminous. He is only a regular, but he does have a particular power that made Father interested in him. And apparently, once he becomes a ranker, the contracts that he can make are going to only amplify his power more. Maybe I said too much there. Oops. Um, but yeah, was there anything about him in particular you wanted to know? He's being punished right now for disobeying Father. Do we know about his whereabouts? He wasn't punished that severely. He was just sent on various missions and... Look, we, we don't torture people. That seems to be something that I picked up on, but that's not... That's not ice here. Like, we, we're good people, and we, we try to treat our members with respect. Um, so, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, if you were to, let's say, kidnap a young pink-haired maiden, you would treat her with uh, respect and kindness? That was not something I was aware of. 
Wait, that, this was a hypothetical young Percy. What do you mean aware um, of? Oh. So you don't Just deny it. Crosses her arms. What'd you do with Ace? Uh, look, um. What'd you do with her? I've been told specifically not to talk about that, but just know that she's safe. safe. And let me let me let me just clarify. So this arrangement that Damien has made with Bull about information, Father won't be upset with Bull if we win the workshop and he divulges all his secrets. We're we're talking. We, if share we, anything. he's gonna take you right to Father, I think, which is kind of insane. If that's the arrangement. Hmm. We'll get to speak okay. to Father. So I can't share too much now. Um, but you can, but you can at least say that you yeah. think Ace will be okay bef before we finish the workshop battle, whatever the result may be. It might take some time, but she's gonna come back. You'll see her again, definitely, as long as she, um, yeah, as long as she what doesn't I die. Can't no, she's not going to be in any... Well, she might be in some danger, but um, it's not really anything that would cause her oh. demise. Probably. So you're telling me that you took her for something other than messing it with us? It wasn't me. It was... It was it's oh, who was it? Who was, who was it, Percy? It, it was a... If you don't mind me asking. They sent a bishop. Zygus. Z Zygus is the one who rescued her. Zygus. Sure they were okay. She is that another there. bishop in your organization? He's a knight, but that doesn't really matter right now. Mm. He he went and saved her, and then I think I think he's under orders from. Um... <clears throat> I've said too much, so. No, 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 no. What are you about to we say? Have some hours. I can't say anything the, more about the your the, 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 the infernal um... by any chance. Was that the name you were about to utter? There's no. The inf... How do you know about him? Aren't we your gods, Percy? Yeah, but. The... You know how much father has told me behind the scenes that you don't know about? There are protocols they have to follow. It's let's not yell at a child. He's getting somewhere else about to manipulate this fool. I'm not. He's a child. I'm not a kid. But thanks. So, if I can get one thing clear, this is an arrangement that Ace herself has with Isir. She wasn't forced to do anything. She had a choice. Of course, we're not going to force anyone to do anything. Even if the job was dangerous, she Insight understood the check. A load of bullshit. Insight check. Insight check with triple disadvantage, please. Triple disadvantage? Yes. Um, he's a sleuth. Well, frick. Never heard of triple disadvantage before, bro. Nothing like a 17, <laughs> a 19, and a fucking natural one. You're I'm welcome. I'm going to the rule book on that one. Dag, a natural one. Damn. Mm. Like I said, I wish I could share more about her. Um, her weapon's really cool. I kind of wish I could have. So anyway. answer me this, Percy. Who are the members of Iseer that activate our fate abilities? He brings out his yo-yo and starts playing with it. Uh, the, you, you, you obviously know about Flux. I mean, she's, she's, she's the conduit. Is she the only one? It depends on who it is, but basically, yeah. Wait, what does that mean? Wait. So you're saying that there's individuals that have specific links with each one of us, aren't you? No, but maybe. You see, when people say no, but maybe, they mean yes, Percy. I need to teach you some things. Maybe he doesn't know. I don't know all the details. I'm just a knight. I just do what I'm told. So, but what I can mm. tell you is that there are people in Iseer who do have some kind of connection to some of you. I don't know if it's necessarily like powers or or what father's plans are. Um, but I think it's okay for you to know that. I hope it is. All right, Percy, tell me this. Talk to this father guy. Percy, riddle me this. If we are in true fact your gods, why do we need conduits to unlock our powers? Why can't we do it? That's something I don't know that much information about. When it comes to your abilities, it's tricky because in some cases it's still 
being developed. What you experienced is nothing compared to what it should be when it's finished. So they are manufactured, aren't they? I don't think so. You just said they are being worked on, being produced. No, what I'm saying is that it takes a while for us to help you along. Mm. So Why would you need to help amplifying. gods along? But Shouldn't the gods be helping you along? But we're only doing... We do some experimentation, but for the most part, we've left you untouched. From what I know, I could be wrong. That's well, what I did. I don't expect you to have those answers. He's talking but about a knight in the organization, speech. you said, correct? Yeah, but... So, no, 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 I'm not trying to press you. Let me just ask you one thing. I'm sure you can tell me this. You don't even have to get into specifics. I want to know the exact hierarchy of your organization. All the rest of your fellow knights, how many there are, how many other pieces exist. Just quantitative figures. I don't need names. I don't need powers. That's easy. I can do that. We have a bunch of pawns. Um, pawns are just like, you know, they're, they're the... They're, they're people, they're still important to the organization, but they don't hold in a position of authority, usually. Um, then we have the 12 Knights of Ice here. And sometimes they come and go, uh, but, like, for example, I think we gained a new one recently, but it's, it's kind of in and out. But when it comes to the bishops, there's seven. And, of course, Father has his two rooks, which serve a very specific purpose, and then Father himself, and, of course, Fluxfalk is the queen, which you all already know about. Um, was that what you wanted to know? Because that's easy. Yeah. That's, we don't even no, no. You, Percy, appreciate you. Yeah, of course. By the way, um, that was cool. Miseru, huh? right? That's the one you used earlier? Oh, the monkey. Yeah, yeah, that's Miseru. It's my boy. He's the that's most cool. immediate one. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I'm sure you get along with me, so. So, with all of uh, that out yeah. of the way, <clears throat> Percy, are you participating in this test? Yeah. I'm on Smile and Bull's team. Well, good luck. Thanks. You guys, too. I actually hope you beat us. But I'm, I'm going to try my best to beat you, you know. But... Percy, we're going to win this test. The entire thing. There's no Does doubt. Does Ice here know what the prizes are? Yeah. What yeah. are they? I think, uh, if I remember Smile's words, I think it'd spoil the fun. Who the fuck Sorry. cares what Smile thinks? Let's just let I mean, it be a surprise. I, I do. I care what Smile Our main is. objective is winning, not the prize. Or what Damien is trying to say is, we will win, so we'll get the prize by default. Well, if we're going to win, we have to play it smart. Well, absolutely. Our team has uh, three of the top ten regulars on here. Wait, is that right? Let's not gas that up like it's anything special, and I'm saying my team say. right now. Well, if there was a any sort of bet going on, you can imagine we're probably one of the favorite teams to win it. Oh, I, I've already can tell you there's rumblings of a lot of money moving around these parts for that, and I plan to participate. And going forward, it's going to be very hard to keep oh. a low profile. I actually have a question. Oh, yeah? Shoot. What's up? He has a smile, but it just instantly vanishes. Which team do you think is um, more likely to win? Team Stexa or Team Blessing? Why what would you, you ask care? That? I just am curious. Why? That's a, so. question. That's a weird question to ask. It's a Percy. really weird question. It's like, oh, who are we going to protect or who are we going to target? No, no, it's nothing to do with that. I promise. We wouldn't do that. Come on. Um, it's, it's If you're asking, right, can you promise me that this is your own personal curiosity? Yeah, I, and I, not this something has nothing weird? to do with ice here. Really. I think team blessing is the bigger threat. Really? Uh, Cil Cilia I personally... It saved us all. If that power could be used against us, then... Well, we're gonna have a very, very tough time. That is true, but Team Stexa literally has a demon. I Someone... A, a, uh, well, a, de a demon hunter, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, dang it. One no, who, practically uh, speaking, I think as a unit, Team Blessing is better. But I think if you're going to split the teams up, Team Stack up, Team Stack somebody win. It all depends on what my son-in-law has learned over the years. He seems quite on edge. <laughs> he quickly covers up his laugh. Yeah, right. They are. They do seem pretty strong overall. Um, but Team Stexus seems cool too. Mm. Does I still have any plans for our friends? I shouldn't even ask. I'm sorry. Yeah. Speaking of which, no, I, heard you I want you. Team I want you Stexus. to answer the I... question. I think we're being a little overly suspicious. Wait, no, 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 Percy, wasn't it you that approached Team Stexa a couple years back? Yeah, it was me. And what did you want with them? I was curious about all of you. Yeah, just curious. Big deal. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for talking. Uh, I hope we can get to know each other more. He holds out his hand to shake anyone. Um, Hold on, Percy. I got a couple more questions. Okay, okay. Little birdie told me that uh, a certain person had been asking questions specifically about me. Who I was, where I came from, connections with Nissan. Care to elaborate? I don't know anything about that. Right. Of course you don't know. I, I didn't know Mr. Nissan. He was cool. Did you? I well, let me ask actually. you this. Do you know why he singled out a certain person during the second floor test that he wanted to kill? Uh, I, I heard he killed somebody, but I don't know who he killed. No, specifically towards the end. Um, I don't know anything about that. Right. I'm honest. Being honest. Mm -hmm. Sure you are. Just like Icer's um, been honest with us this whole time. They, they have. He probably actually doesn't know about the everything that happened on the second floor. Sure they I do, don't... Damien. I don't think you're treating him very well. I'm treating them like they treat us. Percy's been honest with us, though. And you can say that for sure. I mean, nothing he says is... It's pretty straightforward. He told us how many people are in his organization, basically. Hmm. It's how the best I just think lies are told. I just think this suspicion is unwarranted. The suspicion is warranted. But I appreciate your concern. Uh. Sentence says, I think the boy is innocent. I Can I ask you to take some time to apologize? Well, for what? For what? Yeah, for what? Can I be honest? Uh, sure. Thought you were being honest this whole time, Percy. No, but I, I was, but about something else. What is it? He gets on his hands and knees. I'm your biggest fan. Jesus, we already knew no, that. Not this again. Just, I, I'm sorry if that's weird. I don't mean to like make these like weird like parasocial like relationships or anything, but I you just already honestly... have. Now, now, it's it's okay. It's so. Good, Percy, why you don't even know us. But I do know a lot about you guys. That's um, pretty creepy. Cool. No, Let's... just following the climb. And tower, your Tower Tube channel, it's like my favorite channel. I watch it like every day. And oh, I make like three you're accounts. Subscribed to the tower tube I, I like your videos like three times with my three different accounts. And I, I asked about your teammates because I think your teammates are- God damn, like that's dedication. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait. Percy, you're the perfect person to ask about this. How do you feel about the Tower Tube channel over the last year, oh, since uh, my darling apprentice Leaf has taken full control over it, Leaf's honestly like such a good like pick to like take over the Tower Tube channel because like the vlogs and like I I'm, I've learned so much about like 
nature that I didn't even like know about, so it was really cool. You're doing a great job, he says to leave. Thanks, she says. Appreciate that. Leaf, did you have any questions? No, I'm good, she says. Hmm. And I lean over to leave. See, not everything is so black and white, is it? She doesn't say anything. So, uh, again, I hope I'm not being, like, creepy. That's not how I want to come across. It's okay. We can't help our popularity at this point. You guys are really famous. It's kind of insane. I mean, you know, not just the TowerTube channel, but, like, you as a team? I mean, you've, like, exploded. And you, he says to Brack, you, what you did during the, the Labyrinth? I mean, I honestly didn't know you had any. That was awesome. To be honest, it wasn't anything special. Two people died under my watch. It was a nightmare. Then we had to fight against this old man who didn't want to listen to reason. But thank you for the kind words. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Percy. Yes. You seem like a resourceful person. You ever find yourself with some free time from the icier stuff? Yeah, not really, if I'm being honest. But sometimes they give me some vacation days. How would you feel about making and selling merch for the Syndicate? I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, I've actually been spe specifically told that I'm not allowed to join the Syndicate, so... But we keep Who told you that? Percy, just, just you, you can be a secret member. Think about how, think about that. We will trust you with everything, Syndicate. I, I'm sorry, but like, there's people, there's some high-level people who've told me specifically about the Syndicate that I can't join it, and they'd be so cool. The Syndicate seems awesome, and I really want to. <laughs> well, maybe if we win and talk to Father, we can see if we can get that changed. Mm -hmm. That seems ins you don't have to talk to Father about that. That seems like it's not very important, really. But if you do, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Guess we gotta put in the word for the little man to join the syndicate. Well, I mean, we gotta win first, but no, no, no. Winning is guaranteed. Look at who we're going up against: Bulwark, Vlazer, <laughs> Vlazer. <laughs> Listen, Vlazer. But we're going against the Inferno and Fawn Von Sycamore. We don't care about them. We could just have Bori deplete his life and go, take those guys out for us. And then we just kick it down Bori. Easy win. I am. I mean, that that's a good strategy. I'm surprised that uh, I don't you, know. I thought you'd want to fight them. Brax, wanna... that's making Bori sound real scary right now. Nope. Bori is a cupcake. Right? Right, Joe? I don't know. I uh, think he's got a little bit more bite to him than you think. What, what do you mean? That's flipping Jong saying that. Need I say anymore? Jong has gone, gotten soft these past year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the opposite, but... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> He's only gotten sweeter by the day, you know? <laughs> um, I'm going to say a lot of time is passing by. Um, and about An hour into the train ride, it's getting kind of boring. And someone, someone just starts yelling from the end of the car. Boring! Why don't we all just start doing a dance? Dance party, anybody? And at first, no, is that Min? <laughs> oh no! But then Team oh, Loud and Proud it. says, "Dance party, let's go!" And then suddenly, <sighs> music is starting to get played, and there's like someone starts hanging up lights, and you realize it this train ride's gonna take a while. Better be the new King single. No, I'm sorry. I wish. Uh, so, so the music is played, and some regulars start getting up and doing some dancing. But there's one guy who just steals, absolutely steals the show. He starts dancing up and down the aisles. and look at my screen. Like, he's just made for this. Whirling, whirling, and jumping, Whoa. and bending. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. 
can't even move like that, but hold on, bro. I feel some type of way about this dude, right? Here. I mean, but like, we could learn to move like that. Hold yeah, on. I can this do is what I can move so I can dance. What's good? Shit. What's going on? He's smooth, bro. gets Vega. Hey, yo, Hugo, I'm vibes. sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Hugo, but I gotta, I, I got somebody else. I gotta, I gotta look at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he reminds me of Zelos from Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. That. Oh, that Damn, bro. And he's just dancing up and down. What is this music? And he ends up song, stopping bro. in front of all of you. <laughs> and he holds out his hand. Anyone? Can I take to his our hand? team? <laughs> yes, to your Can team. Can I take his hand? Yeah, absolutely. And he holds it Aww. gently and gives you a wink. And the two of you start dancing up and down the train. This is you infinitely win. better than when I dance with Fluxful. <laughs> Roll performance for me. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> but as I'm envisioning this scene, all I'm thinking is, I can change, I can change, uh, that, that, that whole song. Could <laughs> be worse, 16. 16, okay, you're dancing and he's he's leading you for sure. And he's like bending you over and like he's flipping you around. Yes, him and it feel, yes he certainly is. And it feels really natural uh, to woo. Can I, can you I, all the way through. Can I ask what the reaction Sorry, my 12 year old brain kicked in. <laughs> Just let the music die. The train is, everyone in the train is like clapping and like asking to dance with him and please dance with me. And after like 15 minutes, he finally stops. And gives you a bow. That and then was a key. beautiful. An honor, really. What is your name? Dahlia. Dahlia? And he starts oh continuing gosh. to dance Ooh. back and forth. Shit. Yeah. And I, I kind of like, in a daze, wander back over to the team and I'm like, I'm gonna need somebody to help me to send a message to Laura saying, I don't know if I can see her. Oh, well, at least my yeah, dance lessons paid I off. Figure out a few things. Man, this guy is cool. Come on, woo. She Leaf says, but you can tell she kind of has a blush on her face, and uh, everyone's just kind of in awe of this guy's dancing. Is he getting close back to the group again? At this point, he is on another another side of the train. Oh. Damn. Eden was like, my turn? <laughs> oh, I was gonna do it, and then somebody who got their eyes, their hard eyes on, kind of beat me to the punch. Like, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> Look, Eden likes to dance. I'm just saying. And she's like all polite. She's like, I might, and Wu's like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to embrace me just once, man. Just once. <laughs> well, that was oh, unexpected, man. but I get very it. entertaining. I get it. You do look down at the end of the train, and uh, you do see that he's now dancing with Taki, who is just like a walking, stumbling maniac, and it seems like he does not want to be there right now. But he is there nonetheless. Super Bunny? He's like way down the, at the end of the train. Oh, and I turn to you while this is happening. Uh, he, he gave me this to give to you, and I handed the flower that he gave me. And I kind of glance at Victor when I do it, and I'm just like, stop, bro. Victor just seems to be <laughs> genuinely impressed by this guy. Eyebrows raised with a smile. I'm sure that's what he wants us to believe, yes. <laughs> he just rolls her eyes and sits <laughs> back down by the window and just looks out outside. Bruh. And did, the dance did you keep the flower, though? Huh? Eden? Did you keep the flower? Oh, I thought you said you gave it to Leaf. No, no you. you. Yeah. Oh, to her. Oh. She would have gave it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this will mean more to you than it'll mean more to me. Uh, that looks like a nice, pretty flower. Can I, can I see it? Sure. Oh. And uh, she just starts examining it. And overall, the train ride goes by much faster because. Of wait a minute, the... wait a minute, Joe. What kind of flower is that? Uh, it's a, it's. Alia. A thornless rose. Let me see. Thank you, Eden. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> I, I got you! I got you! It's a cactus, right? <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, just to be clear, Leaf is interested in the flower, right? Right. Yes. Well, that's what she'll tell us, yes. Yes. The the flower is a tulip. A pink tulip. Mmm. Okay. Tulips on Interesting. this. Interesting. Interesting. 
It's a weird way to say rose, but interesting. So the train ride goes by much faster with all the fun that is happening now. And so much so that the train ride takes a lot longer than you thought. It's moving very slowly, but eventually it's out in the ocean. An island is in view. It starts approaching the island. It's starting to get darker. Evening has now uh, risen. And, uh, it, or, or, you know, it's it's evening now. Uh, and it's getting darker past. Words are hard. It's been five hours. Uh, it's okay. And, and, you know, the night is approaching quickly. And before long, the train starts approaching the island. And then you hear a voice, but not just a voice anymore. It is the same voice you heard before, but now the monitors that you didn't even know were there on the train, they kind of sink down from the top of the train, expand, and uh, some crackling and some electricity flickers for a second before uh, a figure comes into view. Let me do this. Uh oh, more art. Uh, actually, let me let me hold on. Sorry, this is. Please, not another pretty boy. I can't. We can't do this. <laughs> more pretty boys. I mean, nah. I, my heart can't take all that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody who's a regular on the E rank, welcome to the workshop battle. And you hear a high pitched voice over the monitor. And you see a little robot friend who's dancing on the monitor screen dang. back and forth. <laughs> and That's so sick, dude. The, 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 the little monitors on his uh, on his top of the head and the bottom, it, it keeps changing depending on what he's saying. It kind of like flickers with different expressions. I am pleased to announce that my name is Oreo, and I'm going to be the <laughs> MC for oh the God. workshop battle. Oreo, and everyone just starts clapping. It is now time. The participation event is upon us! The moment you've all been waiting for. Will you be able to enter the workshop battle? Will you be able to enter our new floating ship? That all depends on how you do in our next event. And below your seats, you didn't even realize this, but something falls, drops beneath you. It's like a little package. And you all hear the sound. Because now, it's time to see who the best of the best are! It's time! Four. And he does a little twirl. One shot, one opportunity! Oh, Ta-da! And he falls from the ceiling. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. And with that, we're going to end our episode. It's, it's a long one. I thank you all so much for sticking around. Ooh! It's a long one. Believe it or not, you know? Boom! Mm. Episode Dude, 41. This is Laser's chance to prove himself. I was about to say, if Laser don't, don't hit something, up. bro, in this test, bro, oh, it's not looking good for the man. Bro. Only got one mm -hmm. shot. Do not miss your chance to. One blow. opportunity, bro. Oh. Miss your chance. To blow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. He trained for this moment his entire life. Come on. He's Ooh. fired. He fired, and he missed, and then he fired again. <laughs> <laughs> Just be the gun blazer. Uh, he's got ma spaghetti on his on his. No, not his sweater. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fun episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We appreciate your support. Like the video. Join our Discord down below. Also, important announcement that we will not be having an episode next week. A, to prepare for what's coming up. I actually could use the time, but uh, yeah, things are happening with some of the cast members, but there will be a Towers and Gods related video coming out that day. Either a recap on Artlem or the uh, a, a new, oh my gosh, highlight reel. I keep wanting to say meme reel, a new highlight reel. One of the two will be coming out Friday, maybe both on the weekend, who knows. And uh, yeah, so there'll still be Towers and Gods content um, next Friday. But uh, thank you all again. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next. Well, no, we'll see you two Fridays from now for our next episode. Take care, everybody. Until then. Bye-bye. Bye. Au revoir. Arriba, Dirty. You have no power.